Live from the Newsmax studios, this is the Steve Malsberg Show. Be a part of the action by calling toll-free 1-877-NEWSMAX. That's 1-877-639-7629. Or email Steve at Show at Newsmax.com. Here is Steve Malsberg. I think I'm going to have to uh, have a chat with my love, Ted Cruz, because he's been so magnificent in everything else. I'm thinking we want to concentrate on taking out um, or replacing Democratic senators with Republican senators in Louisiana, in Arkansas, in Montana, in West Virginia, and Alaska. Those are big, fat targets. You know, w welcome to the Steve Malzberg Show, folks, uh, Tuesday edition. It's amazing if you're watching on Newsmax TV. As she said, those states, they had a map on the screen, and those states went red as she said it. How did they know she was going to say that? Um, <laughs> joining us now is uh, Ann Coulter, uh, author of Never Trust a Liberal Over Three, especially a Republican, New York Times bestseller, and every other kind of bestseller. Hey, Ann, how are you? Hi, thanks. How are you, Steve? Uh, Wouldn't that uh, be wonderful if that happened on election night, all those states going red? And, and as you say them, the, Fox will have you on, and as you, as you say them, they will be called red. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yes. The map would just turn in front of Brett Baer or whoever the heck is doing it. <laughs> but it's going to take some work, and, and Republicans really need to focus on those states. You know, another one I think I'm going to write about this week uh, is Al Franken in Minnesota. He stole that election. Um, he was down by um, more than 1,000 votes the day after the election. Yep. And then over the next few months, largely Democratic districts kept producing, oh, look, another 100 votes for Al Franken, and here's another 100 votes. And John Watt watched what they were doing at the time, and they, he said, this is not statistically improbable. It is statistically impossible. Yeah. yeah. Um, but by so the way, is he, is he still alive? Is he still alive? Because I haven't seen or heard from Al Franken in about two years. No, it's, it's interesting how quiet he's been. I think he knows that if people see him, <laughs> um, that, that doesn't help win votes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. All right, we got so much on our collective plates here today. I want you to hear something uh, that was uncovered, uh, you know, all these uh, millions of people day after day, the stories, and to their credit, I guess they're forced to, but CBS has been out in front of this. NBC now also admitting uh, that the president knew he was not telling the truth when he said you could keep your insurance, uh, and CBS documenting all the millions of people losing their insurance. But listen to this. This is Obama back in 10 it's even better than what we've heard so far. Let's give a listen. Actually, any insurance that you currently have would be grandfathered in so you could keep. Um, and so you could decide not to get in the exchange the better plan. I, I could keep my ACME insurance, uh, just a high deductible catastrophic plan. Uh, I would not be required to get the better one. So not only is it a new, ver a different version of if you like it, you can keep it, period, but he's saying that if you have one, we'll grandfather it in. So he's being specific. Another lie. Yes, and it was a lie, the sort of lie that Republicans were pointing out at the time, which is to say so much authority was granted to the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Anything that was so, so horrendous that they couldn't actually put it in writing in the bill. Oh, don't worry, uh, Kathleen Sebelius will take care of that. Um, oh, we're not specifically giving, giving health care to illegal immigrants. Don't worry, Sebelius will take care of that. And that is exactly what happened to this grandfathered-in clause. It was the regulations issued by Catherine Sebelius that said, yeah, except no. No, you can't keep those either. Yeah, because she has, uh, I mean, the, the power that she, we all knew uh, from the get-go, that she could de make determinations on just about anything she wanted to. It was all open to, uh, to her interpretation, and, and this is what we're reaping. That's right. That's right. It is everything Republicans warned about and more. Democrats have the audacity to say, um, oh, you're upset about the web failing when you want it to fail anyway. No, we said this would happen, and it's happening. Um, and it's not, I mean, as much as, as much as it's like Christmas every day now with every aspect of this law becoming a disaster and, and people who supported it and supported Obama discovering, oops, we were lied to, um, not by the Republicans, we warned you, America. Uh, but it's not enough that it's just a, a disaster. A lot of government programs are disasters. Social Security, we have known, is bankrupt. Both Democrats and Republicans have been trying to tell us that for 20 years. Public education, uh, we used to be 
the most literate nation in the world. Now half of New York City high school graduates can't read. I think it's higher than that in Detroit. Um, government programs don't fall on their own. We have to elect representatives who will specifically repeal these monstrosities. Thus, <laughs> that's why I keep saying, let's look at, at Arkansas, West Virginia, Louisiana, Alaska, Montana, Minnesota. We can win back the Senate if Republicans set their minds to it and, and stop the internal fighting. Well, now, 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 going forward on health care, there are two schools of thought. One is, uh, as put forth by uh, Chris Ruddy, the uh, CEO uh, and founder of uh, Newsmax, my boss, by the way, and uh, Larry Kudlow and others who are saying, don't, don't uh, delay this. Let the chips fall where they may. You, we tried to delay it as Republicans. Yep. They wouldn't go for it. Now why rescue them and give a year delay and then not have it be an issue or to have that pain felt for the 2014 election? So that's one school of thought. Others, of course, are saying, well, we have a responsibility to limit the pain, so we're looking for a delay. Where do you fit in? I have the best idea of all. Oh, give it to me. Give it. Look, go ahead. When Democrats come to Republicans saying, we want to pass a bill delaying Obamacare, they attach that same amendment they had for for the budget and for the debt ceiling. Um, <laughs> defund Obamacare. And and there's no risk of a government shutdown this time. There's no risk of, you know, threatening the, the international financial system by not raising the debt ceiling. No, they desperately need a delay now. Um, and as you can see, I'm obviously siding with you and Ruddy and Kudlow. There will be no delay because the only way they're going to get a delay from the Republicans is if Republicans defund it. This is something Democrats have to vote on. That was the only reason the defund Obamacare was attached to the budget and to the debt ceiling, but it was something that absolutely had to be passed. Well, the Democrats absolutely have to pass a delay now, so this is the time for Republicans to come roaring back and say, and have the House pass a bill completely defunding it, not agreeing to a delay. We're talking to Ann Coulter, the one and only uh, author of a great new book about bestseller, never trust a liberal over three, especially a Republican. She's now in love with Ted Cruz. She graduated from uh, Christie, even though uh, Booker's her favorite Democrat, and now she, her love is Ted Cruz. Do I have it right? That's about right. Although, boy, a lot <laughs> came out about Booker during the campaign. I wrote that at, um, oh, at, at the end of my I'm last I'm telling book. you, this guy does a, may not have lived in New Jersey. He makes up people. Suppose he made up T-Bone. He made up a guy died in his arms. Um, I mean, it, it goes on and on and on with this guy. And his commercials, Ann, as you may or may not know, I live in New Jersey, were, I'm going to tackle the tough issues, raising the minimum wage. That's In this day and age, that's what he came out with. I'm going to raise the minimum wage. That was his number one spiel in his commercials. Well, I just want to say, when I named him as my favorite Democrat, it was because he had run against a couple of corrupt Democrats in New Jersey. Um, yeah, all Sharp, of the news James, yeah. Right. All of the news reports on him showed him as being a really tough-on-crime mayor. And when you are mayor, there is nothing more important. You cannot have life. You cannot have commerce when the crime rate goes up. As we're um, about to find out here in New York City under Mayor Bill de Blasio. Oh, gosh. I know. God, God help us. Hey, I want you to hear something. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, reliable sources, CNN. CNN, who's remaking themselves in their own image, which is pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> by the way, I, I, I coined that one, so if anyone steals it, let me know. Um, John Avalon was hosting, and he went through this whole politifact or fact check or whatever the heck it is, and he talked about how Hannity said something that was not true, you said something that was not true, but, um, oh, God, the guy on MSNBC, um, not, not, not Matthews, um, he's a former screenwriter, I forget his name. He, I'm Lawrence O'Donnell. Yes, he said something that was true. Those were his three examples. Anyway, <laughs> listen to what he said about you. Cut seven. And finally, let's look at a claim from Ann Coulter in her syndicated column, saying that no doctors who went to an American medical school will be accepting Obamacare. Well, sure sounds scary, and Halloween's around the corner, but perhaps not surprisingly, the Truthometer rated it a pants on fire, a rating they explained in great detail. Now, it's no accident that trust in media is on the decline. All right, so so go ahead. We got about thirty seconds. So well, respond to him. Thing, this is a statement about what is going to happen in the future. I don't know how you fact check that, but um, check back in with me in a year because I am absolutely right. Oh, you may you know go to to what is purportedly a doctor's office and a doctor. But he made it sound form. like you were talking about doctors today. Well, nobody has Obamacare. It's, it's, <laughs> the point is, no one that get, who, who is on, a, on an Obamacare plan I got is you. going to be getting uh, having an American doctor. And I got to go. Hard break. Love you. Bye. Speak to you soon. And Coulter, ladies and gentlemen.
The Steve Malsberg. Attention seniors and baby boomers. A new website has been created just for you. SocialSecurity311.com. At SocialSecurity311.com, we reveal a weird trick that could help you add $152,000 to your Social Security payouts. For example, did you know how you file for Social Security can dramatically change the amount of money you collect? One simple step could add up to $1,000 to your monthly payouts. And other loopholes we found reveal 33 three ways for big savings on your health care. At SocialSecurity311.com, you will also discover how you could save up to 50% on your groceries, along with 49 other ways to save as much as $50,000 starting today. Newsmax says this website is a critical resource for anyone over the age of 50. So go to SocialSecurity311.com now to find out how you could add extra money to your Social Security checks. That's SocialSecurity311.com. Social Security 311.com. Are you at least 62 years old like me? Could you use an extra fifty, dollars $100,000 or more to live a better life? Then please consider the benefits a reverse mortgage can provide to you. With a reverse mortgage, you can have your mortgage payments stopped altogether and get equity out of your home to live on. And you can use the money to help you live a better life. How nice would that be not to have a mortgage payment? Qualifying for a reverse mortgage is simple, since there are no income, asset, employment, or credit requirements. However, you must be 62 years or older, own your home outright, or have a very low balance on the mortgage, and be prepared to live in it throughout the rest of the loan. Call now for more information. 800-831-1560. That's 800-831-1560. Drug, alcohol, and gambling addiction can be devastating for you and your loved ones. Don't let the disease of addiction ruin everything you've worked so hard for. The Treatment Helpline has helped thousands of people just like you take control of their addictions and live healthier, cleaner, and happier lives. You are not alone. Now there's hope. The Treatment Helpline has helped people just like you overcome their addiction. If you or a loved one is suffering from a drug, alcohol, or gambling addiction, let us help you today. Call 1-800-813-9821. Our seasoned addiction treatment professionals can show you how to use your private health insurance to help cover the costs of this life-changing program. Call now and get a free confidential consultation. 1-800-813-9821. That's 1-800-813-9821. Help is only a phone call away. Call 1-800-813-9821. That's 1-800-813-9821. In 2013, half of your friends, family, and neighbors may lose their jobs, and you may be forced to watch helplessly as you are robbed of 90% of your life savings, all while your home's value is eradicated. Controversial economist Robert Wiedemer believes we will soon stare down a secret crisis that will rival the Great Depression. It was Wiedemer's 2005 book, America's Bubble Economy, that warned of coming meltdowns in our housing and stock markets. Washington did not heed his call, and folks on Main Street lost $50 trillion from the recession. His New York Times best-selling book, Aftershock, predicted our federal debt and dollar would be the next bubbles to burst. And now, Robert Wiedemer has released a startling video with shocking evidence the powers that be have tried to ban. But that hasn't released a startling video with shocking evidence the powers that be have tried to ban. But that hasn't... That's AFTBook.com. Um, or call 800-532-2967. Can you find the Steve Malzberg Show? Everywhere. From your smartphone to satellite radio to Newsmax Live TV to Roku, we have you covered. Here is Steve Malzberg. We do not have any indication at this point of premeditation or preplanned attacks. But it is contrary to the White House's public and, statements, and which were still being made a full week go. later. It's now well established that the Americans were attacked by Al-Qaeda in a well-planned assault. Al-Qaeda, using a familiar tactic, had stated their intent in an online posting. Al-Qaeda, using a familiar tactic, 
had stated their intent in an online posting. Welcome back to the Steve Molesberg Show. By the way, George Will making his first appearance on the Steve Molesberg Show coming up at the bottom of the hour. Uh, but that's Lara Logan. We played you earlier in the week. Um, the, um, the sound bites, actually last week, in anticipation of 60 Minutes, a couple of sound bites that Lara Logan uh, did from her interview with a British citizen who trained Libyan guards outside the uh, Benghazi compound that was attacked on 9-11, where four Americans, including Ambassador Chris uh, Stevens, were killed. Uh, and in that interview, he told Lara Logan uh, that um, the State Department, Hillary Clinton's State Department, would not allow uh, the Libyan guards to have weapons. I know, it just sounds made up, it sounds fictional, it sounds mind-boggling, but it is not made up. Um, and then, of course, he talked about how he found out about the attack and how the attackers uh, told his Libyan guards, we're going to pistol whip you, we're going to hit you with the butt of our rifles, we're going to beat you up a little, we're not here to kill Libyans, we're here to kill Americans. And now, Laura Logan, as you uh, heard, uh, it was well-established, uh, that uh, the United States knew Al Qaeda was on uh, was threatening this embassy uh, or this compound, and that Al Qaeda had committed other acts uh, that they said they would commit. And then Al Qaeda on the third on their list of uh, events was this this attack, and they 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 went through with it. Yet the administration lied. Barack Obama lied. Hillary Clinton lied. They're still lying. The families have been told nothing. They still have us believe it's a video. They lied about a video. They're liars. And Benghazi will not go away. When Hillary runs, it will come to the fore again and again. And not only that, um, say what you will about Senator Lindsey Graham, but he has said he will block nominations in the U.S. Senate until answers are given on Benghazi. Benghazi was an act of war. Was an act of war. Let's go to uh, cut number 26. And you watched as they... As they did, the Red each one Cross of them. And the British mission, and the only ones left were us. They made good on two out of the three promises. It was a matter of time till they, they captured the third one. And Washington was aware of that. They knew we monitored it. We included that in our in our reports to uh, both State Department and and DoD. We have learned the U.S. already knew that this man, senior Al Qaeda leader Abu Anas al Libi, was in Libya tasked by the head of al-Qaeda to establish a clandestine terrorist network inside the country. Al-Libi was already wanted for his role in bombing two U.S. embassies in Africa. All right, now you got to listen to this. This is Lieutenant Colonel Andy Wood that Lara Logan was just speaking to about how two other foreign-run run, run, foreign run facilities had been attacked during the lead-up to uh, the 9-11 attacks back in 2012 at our embassy, run facilities had been attacked during the lead-up to uh, the 9-11 attacks back in 2012 at our embassy. All along, this was an attack and had nothing to do with the video. We've been lied to. This is impeachable, in my opinion. Let's go to cut number 27. It was a frightening piece of information. Because it meant what? It raised the stakes, changed the game. Greg Hicks who testified before Congress earlier this year, was Ambassador Stevens' deputy, based in Tripoli. So why didn't you get the help that you needed and that you asked for? I really, really don't know. I, in fact, would like to know that, the answer to that question. In the months prior to the attack, Ambassador Stevens approved a series of detailed cables to Washington, specifically mentioning, among other things, the Al-Qaeda flag has been spotted several times, flying over government buildings. The Al-Qaeda flag, flying over government buildings. They requested more security. Hillary Clinton turned them down. I don't care if you tell me she never saw the cable. Give me a break. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama both lied to the American public. They stood there and lied with a straight face to the parents of the dead, to the American public, that this was about a video. When they knew all this, all this that we're hearing about, they knew. They knew before the attack. They knew about the request for security. They turned it down. After the attack, they said to themselves, I believe, uh-oh, we screwed up. We got letters here asking for more security, and we said no. So we better make it look like this was a spontaneous attack, ang and these people were angry over something we had no control over. We had no way of knowing they'd react this way over a video. Now, 
Why doesn't the U.S. State Department have a reward out for those responsible for killing our ambassador? And by the way, one day the truth will come out about how our ambassador was killed. It was not, not a pretty death. Not a pretty death. That's all I'm going to say from everything I've heard from sources and read in certain reports. Not a pretty death. The kind of death you don't want to talk about on the air, but the kind of death that needs to be talked about one day. Now, why does the State Department not have a reward? They have a rewards program for terrorists all over the world that have committed acts against the United States. Why no reward for this, these people responsible for this attack? Well, the question was put to State Department spokesman, and here's what she said. You know, the question... Um has always been who exactly the attackers were, what their motivations were, and how they at the attack evolved. We've always said uh, that there were extremists that we ex uh, felt were involved. Um, there's an ongoing criminal investigation, as you are very familiar with, that you just referred to. So I refer but other questions to you call to them, them extremists, will you not say al-Qaeda from that podium? It's, it's an ongoing FBI investigation. I'm not going to uh, ascribe uh, more specific. Will you consider these suspects, these two Al-Qaeda suspects and others, uh, to be added to the reward for terror list? I, I appreciate your persistence on this particular line of questioning, Lucas. I just don't have anything I'm new sure. for you today. I'll take that as a no. You know what? It, 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 this is like a li looks like a little girl uh, answering these questions. I forget her name. She's, she's answered questions before, but that's not the point. It's like a bunch of kids running this, this government. Okay? Little boys and little girls. Or, or adults with evil intent. How dare you say you don't know who did it yet? How dare you? Boys and little girls. Or, or adults with evil intent. How dare you say you don't know A hot new book by Craig Smith argues that the greenback is now at high risk. Thanks to our spendthrift politicians, Mark Twain said the truth is stranger than fiction. The same is true of the Great Debasement, which began a century ago with the creation of the Federal Reserve and income tax. The result? Today's dollar retains just two cents of its original buying power. Yes, progressive politicians have engineered the largest wealth confiscation in history, creating in essence a fourth branch of government. Learn what must be done to preserve your money if the dollar crashes. The good news is Swiss America is offering The Great Debasement, a $20 value free of charge for this special radio offer. 800-818-3967. 800-818-3967. 800-818-3967. Call Swiss America now for a free DVD. 800-818-3967. Constipation, gas, bloating, most people suffer through. But now, there's a simple solution for occasional digestive problems called Bactopro. Developed by holistic medical doctor David Brownstein, Bactopro is the fiber probiotic formula that supports healthy digestive and immune health. And it comes in the form of an easy-to-eat, tasty wafer. Bactopro contains six powerful strains of beneficial probiotic bacteria, dietary fiber, and bacteria-nourishing prebiotics, plus powerful antioxidants. Now, you can receive a 30-day supply of Bactopro. Just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit Bactopro.com slash special. Act now and you'll also be given instant access to our downloadable special report, A Doctor's Guide to Probiotics and Your Health. Improve your digestive health now. Learn how you can receive your 30-day supply at Bactopro.com slash special. That's B-A-C-T-I-P-R-O dot com slash special. Bactopro.com slash special. Are you at least 62 years old like me? Could you use an extra fifty, dollars $100,000 or more to live a better life? Then please consider the benefits a reverse mortgage can provide to you. With a reverse mortgage, you can have your mortgage payments stopped altogether and get equity out of your home to live on. And you can use the money to help you live a better life. How nice would that be not to have a mortgage payment? Qualifying for a reverse mortgage is simple, since there are no income, asset, employment, or credit requirements. However, you must be 62 years or older, own your home outright, or have a very low balance on the mortgage, and be prepared to live in it throughout the rest of the loan. Call now for more information. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560. Eight hundred eight three one fifteen sixty. 
That's 800-831-1560. If you're a man over 40, your prostate could be forcing you to urinate frequently, even disrupting your sleep multiple times each night. You're not alone. Over half of men over 40 experience age-related prostate concerns. Fortunately, prominent medical doctor David Brownstein believes that aging prostate concerns are not inevitable. That's why Dr. Brownstein developed Prostate Revive, an advanced dietary supplement containing a unique blend of 15 ingredients designed to promote optimal prostate health. So men, as part of this new radio promotion, you now have the opportunity to claim your own 30-day supply of Prostate Revive, containing Saul Palmetto, Beta Cytosterol, and numerous other prostate helpers. Just cover a $4.95 shipping and handling charge. Plus, if you act now, you'll also get a doctor's guide to a healthy prostate as a bonus gift. Please visit ProstateRevive.com radio for details on getting your 30-day supply of Prostate Revive and free report. That's ProstateRevive.com radio. Do something about those annoying age-related prostate concerns. Visit ProstateRevive.com dot com slash radio now while supplies last ipro dot com slash special back to pro dot com slash special This is not your typical Scream Fest talk show. No. 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 This is the next generation of talk radio. Here is Steve Malsberg. You showed the graphic a moment ago about how many people are losing their coverage in California and Florida. It is possible that more people since the 1st of October have lost their coverage than have signed up for the Affordable Care Act government program in all 50 states. Opponents of Obamacare lost in Congress, they lost in the Supreme Court, they lost in the 2012 election, they may be winning now in the implementation of it. You mentioned 10 Democratic senators are for delay. The two candidates for the Senate in Georgia and Kentucky, Democratic candidates, have now endorsed delay. So there is a tide moving. All right, folks, uh, welcome back to the Steve Molesberg Show. That voice uh, belongs to uh, one man and only one man as we welcome in for the first time to the uh, Steve Malsberg Show, uh, the great George Will, uh, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and Fox News contributor. Hello, George. How are you? I am well. You and I spoke back in 2008. Uh, I believe uh, it was One Man's America that had come out at the time. Yep. And, and I was privileged to talk to you uh, then. And before we get to health care, I, I, I'd love to talk to you about two things, if you don't mind. One is um, the World Series. <laughs> And I, I know that you uh, you selected the Cardinals. I would have talked to you the same way if you selected Boston. What a what an amazing series! I mean, the the, the pitching stories, a uh, guy like Lester on the Red Sox side, and also the the way that uh, the games of uh, uh, three and four ended. Uh, once in a lifetime, first time ever, it ended on a obstruction play, and then the next game ending on a pickoff. It's just been a wild series. It set back baseball artistically about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, ugly, lots but, of errors, yeah. But I think the fans like it. I mean, what baseball really wants is a six- or seven-game series. They've got the sixth game. The most exciting phrase in professional sports is game seven, so I'd like to see that. Yeah, and I know that uh, for you, uh, you, you wrote something about your son. And uh, you said that uh, for like you, base for for him and and you, baseball is not just a part time preoccupation. And I know your love for the game. And and I did have the privilege of talking to you about your son at the time when we spoke last time. And I know that uh, uh, John is, uh, I guess, turned 41 in May. Correct. That's correct. And he, he is. Works, he yeah. works in the clubhouse yep. of the Washington Nationals which means he gets up in the morning and goes to a ballpark, which means he has a better job than I've got. <laughs> that's, that's very true, although... You, Your you listeners may not know, John has Down syndrome, that's a, so he's, uh, yes. he's got some special needs. You, you Your you listeners may not know, John has Down syndrome, that's a, so he's, uh, yes. he's got some special needs. For, for writing about and keeping us all informed about your son. And on his 40th birthday, you wrote a very moving for, for writing about and keeping us all informed about your son. And on his 40th birthday, you wrote a very moving Caps game, uh, but his heart was going to be with the Nationals who were playing, I think, in Pittsburgh at the time or something. It's just, it's so heartwarming. And, and I know you feel very strongly about, uh, about the, the life issue, especially when it comes to uh, uh, people aborting children who, who, uh, who are less than perfect, shall we say. Well, yes, since I'm less than perfect, and I, th I think almost everyone else is, 
Uh, it's, it's a very dangerous, slippery slope, or if you wish, the thin end of a very large wedge when you start sorting out the population as being, for this or that flaw, unworthy of, of life. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's move on. You, you, I played the health care soundbite, which you were absolutely right on Sunday on, uh, on Fox News Sunday. Uh, I believe that's where that was from. And uh, there are more people losing their health insurance and have signed up for, uh, for Obamacare at this point. Um, let me ask you, there's a, there, there are two s the schools of thought moving forward, George, and I, I'd be curious to know yours. Um, there, there's, a, there's a group, uh, 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 Chris Ruddy, my boss, the CEO, founder of Newsmax, uh, Lawrence Kudlow and others say, let, don't, don't delay anything. Let this go on. Don't, don't vote to delay. Don't give what the Democrats what they could use for the 2014 election um, and, and make this go away for a while. We tried to delay it as Republicans. Let it go through now and don't help them out. And some Republicans are saying we have a responsibility to limit the chaos and we should delay it for a year. Where, where do you fit in? <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I'm in the chaos school. Uh, it, it seems to me the president has uh, been emphatic that the Obamacare can be implemented as written. Republicans have said it can. Then the president confirmed the Republican view by his starkly and unambiguously illegal delay of the employer mandate. That employer mandate starting date was written into the law. The law cannot be changed by presidents unilaterally. It just can't be done. So the first thing I'd say is, A, he's embraced it. He wants it to go forward. Let it. The quickest way to refute all the arguments for Obamacare is to experience Obamacare. So that's, but second, in any case, if it's going to be delayed, it must be delayed by Congress and signed by the president. That if, if we must begin to restore the rule of law. But before we get to that, my general feeling is stand back, be quiet, and if anything, make the president ask, beg really, Congress to rescue him from his own handiwork. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I'm agreeing. I'm, I've been led to that school of thought. I really, I really believe that's uh, the best thing. We're talking to George Will here uh, on the Steve Malsberg show. Uh, let me, uh, uh, let me let you hear something. I mean, you're, you're working at, at Fox. Now, by the way, congratulations on that. Uh, well, you know, you. all those years at, at ABC. Uh, uh, does it feel any different uh, moving over to Fox? Well, it's uh, the Sunday show is in Washington, which uh, ABC's show no longer is. So uh, it, it feels good, and there are a lot of good friends over there at Fox, and uh, it uh, it's got a lot of energy because it's a news organization 24/7. Well, it, it makes you a target uh, where maybe on ABC you weren't as, a, as such a target for the folks at MSNBC. And uh, if you want a good chuckle, uh, let's give you a good chuckle. Here's a, a cut 30. And every now and then. The right-wing politicians and pundits actually say it. Of course I want Obamacare to fail, because if it doesn't fail, it will just further entangle American society with a government that is not up to this. Of course you want Obamacare to fail? Well, of course. This is what's wrong with the Republican Party. And of course, the American people are fed up with it. And of course... Republicans will pay the price for it at election time. All right. I don't have to tell you that's Al Sharpton on MSNBC. I still can't believe I, I, I say that he has a show, but he does. Well, the, the American people uh, have, uh, this is, I guess, a news bulletin to Mr. Sharpton, but the American people were opposed to Obamacare when it was proposed. They were even more opposed to it when it passed, and they're even more opposed to it today than they were when it passed. I'm not the one convincing the American people. Experience and common sense is convincing the American people of this. And, and do you, do you, uh, are you a, a viewer of MSNBC at all? Not, not just now because you're at Fox, but have you been in the past? Are there, uh, I mean, is there any host there that you like or don't like, or do you not watch it at all? Uh, if, if, if something is not on Fox or ESPN, I'm apt not to see <laughs> All right, then let, let, let's get back to sports, because uh, I, I, there's an issue um, talking about Washington and this, this uh, quest to uh, rid the, uh, the, the uh, NFL of the uh, racist name Redskins. And I, I'm, I'm saying racist, uh, I don't believe it's racist, but that's what the cry is uh, on the parts of many. Bill Roden of the New York Times was recently on, uh, on one of the shows, and um, I want you to hear what he had to say, Will, in Cut 23. This is Cut 23. He said the media has to take the lead, and he hasn't written that name in, in years, he claims. Here it is. Um, there will be legislation. Eventually the name is going to be changed, but I think that it has to start with us 
uh, and the media to stop just stop using the name. Well, I think the fact that Oneida Indian officials will meet with NFL officials next week in New York City is a good indication that this is happening. Oh, no, no, said. it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. It's, it's gonna, this has become sort of the movement for a lot of young people this generation uh, who've gotten radio campaigns, Internet campaigns, because, you know, it's just the time the, the name has outlived its usefulness. I mean, mm -hmm. we all realize it's not appropriate. Some people are offended and we have to move on. There's only one person that doesn't realize it and he owns the team. Okay, so um, I know he's talking about there's going to be legislation. Uh, what in the in the Congress? <laughs> I, I I would refer him to Article One, Section Eight of the Constitution, <laughs> the list of the enumerated powers of Congress. And I didn't see anything in there about naming NFL teams. How? Where do you fill in on uh, uh, or fit in on the uh, the whole Redskin issue? Well, I begin by noting that Mr. Roden is not a Native American, and he's not empowered to speak for Native Americans. First, there's an empirical question. Is it a fact that a substantial number of Native Americans are offended by this? We know they're not offended, really, by the Florida State Seminoles, by the tomahawk chalk of the Atlanta, chop of the Atlanta Braves, by the name of the Cleveland Indians, by the, uh, well, go down the list. There are right. all kinds of names uh, deriving from the Native American heritage. So first, empirically, prove to me that a substantial number of Native Americans are offended by this, and I will reconsider it. But there's that threshold empirical question before we get to the, to, to, uh, the next step as to what, whether the name ought to be changed. I notice again that Mr. Roden purports to speak for an offended group of which he is not a member. There are all kinds of, of various uh, uh, white liberals purporting to speak for Native Americans. Let's hear from the Native Americans. I couldn't agree with you more. And there was a poll taken on the Redskin issue in particular, and I think 80% uh, were not uh, offended. I don't have that uh, poll information offhand, but I, I do remember citing it a few weeks ago. Um, so so there, there, there has been a, a study done on that. Uh, so one final question, uh, game, uh, game uh, six. Uh, it's going to be tough for the Cardinals to win two in Fenway. I mean, that goes without saying, but what do you think? It's tough to win two in Fenway, but it's tough to win one against the pitcher they're throwing tonight, and that's Mr. Waka. He's a 22-year-old prodigy, and so if I had to bet my net worth, I'd be very nervous, but I'd bet it on the Cardinals. That's funny because uh, Charles Krauthammer yesterday said he had to stop playing speed chess uh, because, uh, well, not, that's not why he stopped, but uh, he was talking about uh, debt also. So maybe you guys could get together and make a bet. Uh, maybe he's on the other side of the issue. Hey, George, really a pleasure to speak to you. I hope you'll come back. I sure will. Thank Thanks you very that. much. Take care. That's George Will, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Watch him on uh, the Fox News Channel. Read him, of course, in the Washington Post. And it's interesting. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just didn't bring it up because I didn't bring it up. But uh, George Will wrote a column uh, back in 2000, maybe it was 10, where Mike Huckabee had been on my radio show at WOR at the time yeah, here in New York City. And Mike Huckabee accidentally said Kenya or something in reference to something in Obama-related. Not that he was born in Kenya, but said something about Kenya, that Obama grew up in Kenya or went to school in Kenya. When it wasn't Kenya, I think it was, it was, was it, uh, where was it? Was it Pakistan? I don't even remember where the heck it was. When he went to the madrasa, you know, we know that for a fact. I, I don't remember which country he was educated in. I, I'm slipping my mind for some reason. However, so George... This be yeah, Indonesia. I believe it was Indonesia. Thank you, Will. Um, anyway, I don't know how that got out of my mind. So, yeah, right. He said Kenya when he meant to say Indonesia, I think, was the big brouhaha. And that story went viral. It went nutty viral. I mean, I didn't even send it out to anybody. It just got picked up all over the country. And um, George Will wrote a column on it. Uh, basically uh, not saying, uh, saying some unflattering things about, I mean, I was incidental in the column. But it, it, in the context of that column and the different kinds of conservatives and Republicans, I was lumped because I asked the question and followed up with, uh, with Huckabee. I was lumped with Huckabee and Newt Gingrich for that specific issue. And uh, I took great pride of being trashed with it. Was, it was a Huckabee, Gingrich, and Malzberg actually mentioned in one line together. So I, took, I, I got a kick out of that. But I still love George Will. And, um, and he's, I, I just love, I just love the way he talks about his son and, and promotes his son, and his son does have Down syndrome, as we mentioned, and, you know, his son is just a living testament to what a full life, a full and rich life, uh, someone with Down syndrome and other disabilities uh, could live. 
And uh, that's a whole other issue on the, uh, the, the, the right to life side. All right, folks, we're coming back. So you want to weigh in? 877 Newsmax, 877 639 7629 on the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV and radio. The Steve Malzberg Show. Attention seniors and baby boomers. A new website has been created just for you. SocialSecurity311.com At SocialSecurity311.com we reveal a weird trick that could help you add $152,000 to your Social Security payouts. For example, did you know how you file for Social Security can dramatically change the amount of money you collect? One simple step could add up to $1,000 to your monthly payouts. And other loopholes we found reveal 33 ways for big savings on your health care. At SocialSecurity311.com, you will also discover how you could save up to 50% on your groceries, along with 49 other ways to save as much as $50,000 starting today. Newsmax says this website is a critical resource for anyone over the age of 50. So go to SocialSecurity311.com now to find out how you could add extra money to your Social Security checks. That's SocialSecurity311.com. SocialSecurity311.com. Hi, this is Mike Reagan. You need to watch out because thousands of new Obamacare rules are currently being implemented and few know what the law says or does. Listen to what Senator Max Baucus, one of the authors of the Obamacare law, recently said. I tell you, I just see a huge train wreck coming down and I don't see any results yet. I just see a huge train wreck. He's right. So protect yourself from this train wreck. Get the number one bestseller, The Obamacare Survival Guide. Newsmax says it's the best guide to the new law. Join more than a half a million Americans who have their copy. Get The Obamacare Survival Guide at bookstores everywhere. Or get our special $4.95 offer and save $15 off the cover price by going now to Obamacare 911 offer and save $15 off the cover price by going now to Obamacare911.com. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your dot com. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your revolutionary weight loss breakthrough designed to help you reach your goal weight as part of your diet and exercise program? Metabio is the premium nutritional supplement power packed with five high quality ingredients. When used as part of a healthy lifestyle, each component is formulated to help you reach your goals and maintain your optimal weight and wellness. It supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. Now, learn how you can try a 30-day supply of Metabio. Just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit themetabio.com slash special. Act now and also receive instant access to our downloadable special report, A Practical Guide to Healthy Weight Management. Try it now at themetabio.com slash special. That's the, M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash special. While supplies last, themetabio.com slash special. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your weight management plan need an extra edge for success? If so, listen up. Metabio is the revolutionary weight loss breakthrough designed to help you reach your goal weight as part of your diet and exercise program. Metabio is the premium nutritional supplement power packed with five high quality ingredients. When used as part of a healthy lifestyle, each component is formulated to help you reach your goals and maintain your optimal weight and wellness. It supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. Now, learn how you can try a 30-day supply of Metabio. Just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit themetabio.com slash special. Act now and also receive instant access to our downloadable special report, A Practical Guide to Healthy Weight Management. Try it now at themetabio.com slash special. That's the, M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash special. While supplies last, themetabio.com slash special. In 2013, half of your friends, family, and neighbors may lose their jobs, and you may be forced to watch helplessly as you are robbed of 90% of your life savings, all while your home's value is eradicated. Controversial economist Robert Wiedemer believes we will soon stare down a secret crisis that will rival the Great Depression. It was Wiedemer's 2005 book, America's Bubble Economy, that warned of coming meltdowns in our housing and stock markets. Washington did not heed his call, and folks on Main Street lost $50 trillion from the recession. His New York Times best-selling book, Aftershock, Street lost $50 trillion from the recession. 
his New York Times best-selling book, Aftershock, released a startling video with shocking evidence the powers that be have tried to ban. But that hasn't stopped 50 million people from getting the truth. Join us at AFTbook.com. That's AFTbook.com. the sidelines and be a part of the show call steve toll free at 1-877 newsmax that's 1-877-639-7629 here is steve malsberg come back to the uh, steve malsberg show um <clears throat> something that uh, troubles me uh greatly is uh, taking place today it's probably taken place being that uh the middle east is uh, so many hours ahead of us, about six, seven hours ahead of us. And that is that Israel uh, was poised to release another 26 convicted Palestinian terrorists with blood soaking all over their hands um, in, a, uh, in a, in a good-natured good gesture to the wonderful Palestinians who want nothing but peace with their Jewish neighbors. Um, this will bring the number, the total number of convicted murderers freed this year by Israel to 52. All right, we got, uh, okay, 52. Yeah, that's the number. Now, the United States pushed Israel to release 104 convicted Palestinian terrorists in August as a sign of goodwill in the peace process, which, of course, if you listen to me throughout the years, you know peace in the peace process is spelled P-I-E-C-E. Because the goal is to dismantle Israel, P-I-E-C-E, by P-I-E-C-E. -E. There's no P-E-A-C-E -E, P -E -E intended on the part of the Palestinians or the Arabs, uh, Arab nations, in my opinion, whatsoever. Now, all 26 that have probably already been released, unfortunately, um, are, have been convicted of murder, and carrying out terrorist operations. One of the terrorists hacked to death a Holocaust survivor. Hacked to death a Holocaust survivor. Now, I could sit here and blame this on America and say Barack Obama forced Benjamin Netanyahu to do this. I tweeted out last night, and I'll say it again. Shame, shame, shame on the government of Israel for releasing these murderous scum for any reason, for any reason, especially when you know there's never going to be peace, especially when you know they're going to be welcomed back as heroes, lauded, soccer stadiums named after them, baseball trading like cards with their pictures on it because they killed Jews. That's the Palestinian culture. So shame on Israel. Shame, shame, shame on Israel. And there's no bigger supporter of Israel than me, but shame on their government for doing this. Hacking a Holocaust survivor to death with an axe. Another lynched and burned an Israeli soldier. Now, how many more examples do you want? How many more examples do you want? This is disgusting. Disgusting. They've all been convicted of brutally murdering Israelis. Shabir Kassam Hazam has been serving a life term for brutally killing the, uh, the uh, elderly Holocaust survivor with an axe. Masawa Awad Muhammad Youssef served ser sentenced to two life terms, savagely beat and asphyxiated a Jewish shop owner. He's out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I don't blame Obama. I don't blame Obama at all. I... I Beyond, you know, beyond what, I bl what we blame him for. I, I don't care how you twist Netanyahu's arm. This doesn't have to happen. This didn't have to happen. All right, let's go to Ro Rob or Ron? Rob. Hey, Rob is in Florida calling in on 877 Newsmax. What's up, my friend? How are you? Thanks for weighing in. Thanks, Steve. Hey, I just wanted to uh, touch back on the comment you talk about with the Washington Redskins. Yeah. I, I heard on, a, on a, another talk show... Um, there's another. There's another. Were, there's another talk show. No, I'm kidding. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, <laughs> the junior league to you. Yeah, okay. Um, 
he, they were going over uh, professional sports teams and their owners' contributions to political parties. Um, and they touched on all the different teams and what they, their breakdown of the Democratic candidates, Republican. And the Washington Redskins, believe it or not, I believe they were like 98% toward Republican candidates. And to me, it's just kind of odd that that's the one team in D.C. that President Obama has a conflict with. Of all the other Indian <laughs> named teams, right. that the team that, 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 that donated 98% of, of their political contributions to Republicans is such an outrageous all of a sudden, Indians are greatly outraged by the Washington Redskins only. Not right, by you're, you're, you're alluding to the party. fact that Obama suggested they change their name because people are offended. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the whole thing is ridiculous. Again, uh, where, where's the, where, where's, where's the American? Where, have you seen one Native American interviewed coming forward? Is there a group? Is there a, have they taken to the streets? Have they protested outside? No. These are people like William no. Roden and other left-wing people in sports and in news who want it done. Right, they weren't offended until they were told right. they were offended. Right, right, right. All right, Rich, so, I, appreci well, I, to yeah. know. I appreciate the call. Thank you very much. All right, so right. Let, me, let me give you a <clears> – <throat> I, I alluded to George Will. The column uh, by George Will was um, written in uh, March, March 6th of 2011. Mike Huckabee, Newt Gingrich, and the spotlight chasing candidates of 012 – and um, the most recent vibrator is Mike Huckabee, the former governor of Arkansas. Uh, the caucus and I reached. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, I'm just trying to get the line where he calls Malsberg, and and um, he's on my show. How Newt and Malsberg and yeah, I can't find it. I can't find it, but it's here somewhere. But it was cool. It was cool being mentioned in the same uh, article uh, column by George Will. I got trashed. But I liked it. I liked it. That doesn't mean I'm a masochist or anything like that. Um, but if George Will puts my name in as long as he spells it right. Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio. The Steve Attention seniors and baby boomers. A new website has been created just for you. SocialSecurity311.com At SocialSecurity311.com We reveal a weird trick that could help you add $152,000 to your Social Security payouts. For example, did you know how you file for Social Security can dramatically change the amount of money you collect? One simple step could add up to $1,000 to your monthly payouts. And other loopholes we found reveal 33 ways for big Big savings on your health care. At SocialSecurity311.com, you will also discover how you could save up to 50% on your groceries, along with 49 other ways to save as much as $50,000 starting today. Newsmax says this website is a critical resource for anyone over the age of 50. So go to SocialSecurity311.com now to find out how you could add extra money to your Social Security checks. That's SocialSecurity311.com. SocialSecurity311.com. Obamacare, President Obama's massive health care law, is taking effect this year. With over 15,000 pages of regulations, few even know what it means. Now, the Obamacare Survival Guide by Nick Tate gives you the shocking facts about this law. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can protect yourself. Already a New York Times bestseller. Every American needs to get the Obamacare Survival Guide and find out about the new taxes, hidden fees, fines, Medicare changes, business rules, and why doctor shortages are likely. Donald Trump says the Obamacare Survival Guide is a must-read for anyone worried about getting good health care for themselves or their employees. So get the Obamacare Survival Guide. It's at bookstores, or get our special offer at Obamacare311.com, and you'll save $15. Go now to Obamacare311.com. That's Obamacare311.com. Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm Kathleen Walter. The White House says it's looking into whether it should end a program that allows the NSA to spy on foreign leaders. The review comes amid furor overseas over revelations that the U.S. was eavesdropping on German Chancellor Angela Merkel's phone calls. 
Senator Dianne Feinstein, the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee, says she was not made aware of the program and that any spying on allied heads of state needs to end immediately. She is also calling for a review of all intelligence programs. Obviously, we're going to want to know exactly what the president knew and when he knew it. These revelations call for a thorough review of the collection standards that we were using. The White House won't say whether the president knew about the Merkel eavesdropping, but admits damage has been done. The White House insists the NSA surveillance programs keep America and its allies safe. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, says he will block all of President Obama's nominees until Congress gets more information on Benghazi. Senator Graham, seen here last month, says he'll block every nominee for an executive branch position until more questions are answered on Benghazi and until the survivors of the attack are made available to Congress. I think it's incredibly irresponsible of the Congress to allow any administration to basically shield witnesses uh, who are relevant to a congressional investigation as to what went wrong in Benghazi. So I'm going to start blocking anything and everything I can, only, only to, to do the right thing. Graham also said Congress must up its game and that a joint select committee is needed to investigate. Penn State University says it will pay almost $60 million to 26 young men who were sexually abused at the hands of former football coach Jerry Sandusky. The university says 23 of the men have signed a deal agreeing to the settlement. The other three reportedly have agreed to the deal in principle. The school still faces six other claims of abuse. Sandusky is serving 30 to 60 years in prison after being convicted of 45 counts of child sexual abuse last year. And today marks the one-year anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, which killed 147 people. It also caused an estimated $50 billion in damage, and with more than a half million homes destroyed, many families are still struggling to recover from the damage. The government has announced it will provide a second round of financial relief for Sandy victims. The Red Sox lead the Cardinals in the Major League Baseball's World Series three games to two. Boston and St. Louis will face off tomorrow night for Game 6 in Boston. Next on Newsmax Now, Steve Forbes, the CEO and chairman of Forbes Media, on why the U.S. economy is still fighting a fever, plus why gorillas took to the streets of Denver and made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. Those stories when we come back. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-625-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. So cancel the cable and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-625-MY-TV. Right now, to sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy, you get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-625-MY-TV. 1-855-625-MY-TV. Cancel the cable, cut costs, and get more. 1-855-625-MY-TV. 1-855-625-MY-TV. Do you have trouble remembering things you've known for years? Do you want to maintain your mental edge, support your memory, focus, and attention? After extensive research, Dr. Russell Blaylock discovered four essential nutrients that help sustain optimal brain function. Dr. Russell Blaylock then personally formulated Cresio, the dietary supplement containing these four brain boosters that promote brain cognitive health, improve learning and retention. Cresio supports brain circulation and provides antioxidant protection. And now you can receive a 30-day supply of Cresio. All you pay is a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit Cresio.com slash special. Act now and you'll also be given instant access to our downloadable special report, Nature's Brain Boosters, Essential Nutrients for Peak Mental Performance. Give your brain the healthy support it needs. Learn how you can receive your 30-day supply at Cresio.com slash special. That's C-R-E-S-C-E-O dot com slash special. Cresio.com slash special. And welcome back. In a Newsmax exclusive, former GOP presidential candidate and the chairman of Forbes Media tells Newsmax that an ongoing financial crisis prevails. So the fever goes up and down, but the fever is still there. 
and the key is going to be to get the dollar stabilized. I think it should be fixed to gold, and uh, the sooner we do it, the better. And new video now of some major monkey business in downtown Denver. This was the scene at the city's annual Gorilla Run 5K. 1,161 people participated. The run, which benefits the Mountain Gorilla Conservation Fund, broke a Guinness World Record with the most people dressed as gorillas in one location. The Fund broke a Guinness World Record with the most people dressed as gorillas in one location. Now, update for October 29th. Take care. Broadcasting live from the Newsmax studios, this is the Steve Malzberg Show. Be a part of the action by calling toll-free 1-877-NEWSMAX. That's 1-877-639-7629. Or email Steve at malzbergshow at newsmax.com. Here is Steve Malzberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's hour number two of the Tuesday edition of the Steve Malzberg Show. And um, hearings were held today up on Capitol Hill, and uh, there were some uh, big shots on the uh, hot seat with regard to the Obamacare fiasco. Uh, joining us now is a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, and uh, they were the ones conducting the hearing, Congressman Todd Young, Republican from Indiana. Hello, Congressman. Thanks for being with us. Hey, it's great to be with you, Steve. Well, Thanks th for the opportunity. It, it's my pleasure. Okay, so you heard from a, a bunch of people, including the head of the agency responsible uh, for the um, healthcare.gov um, fiasco, or one of the people fi uh, responsible, Marilyn uh, Tavener, head of the Centers for Medicine and Medicaid Services. Uh, she testified um, and uh, basically apologized for the, uh, the failures in the uh, main Obamacare website, correct? Well, she did indeed. I, you know, she's uh, certainly in a difficult position. She's a project manager of sorts. The administration has taken to calling her the quarterback of, of this effort. But, uh, you know, you know, frankly, I, I, I think uh, there are larger structural problems with this law, and that's manifesting itself not just in the healthcare.gov fiasco, uh, but also in an in increase in premiums. People are losing their health care coverage. Uh, a lot of anxiety and uncertainty reigns, and, and so uh, we got some serious issues here that is directly impacting my constituents, and I've heard all kinds of stories. That, uh, I'd love to share a few of them with your uh, listeners. Yeah, sure. No, go, go ahead. I mean, obviously, I just want to talk about the hearing, and then we'll definitely have time for that. Um, she uh, not only apologized, but uh, she was not forthcoming when asked uh, by, um, I believe, Congressman uh, Nunez and, and others, uh, how many people have signed up for Obamacare? She just basically refused uh, to answer that question. Yeah, she would not answer it. She just uh, repeated, uh, as one might do, I guess, in a courtroom setting, uh, time and again, the same sort of uh, uh, talking point uh, that obviously she has studied and, and uh, was, was, uh, it was obvious to me that uh, she had been coached to uh, parrot. And uh, uh, she keep, kept repeating to us uh, that uh, we would have the number of people that actually had successfully uh, enrolled uh, in this program by mid-November. We get those numbers. But uh, I can tell you this, uh, getting 7 million people enrolled by the end of March, which is what the Health and Human Services goals are, and 2.3 million young and healthy individuals, uh, which is required to uh, make the numbers work uh, uh, for the uh, so-called Affordable Care Act. Um, I, I'm just seeing that uh, being a very heavy lift at this point. Absolutely. And the chairman of your committee, I think uh, uh, Dave Camp, told uh, her that uh, according to his math, uh, the, the administration appears to be uh, headed to gaining less than one-fourth of the, uh, the total that they had been shooting for. Well, that's right, and and uh, you know a lot of the uh, the mainstream media has uh, they've even been on this story reporting that uh, so many of the early uh, uh, celebrated uh, states, uh, Kentucky, for example, and and uh, the advertisement of the number of enrollees they've had, the number of visitors to their website uh, that they've had, and that's on the state-based exchange. Um, these are people signing up for Medicaid. 
Uh, these are not young and healthy individuals who are going to help pay the bills for our uh, less healthy and uh, uh, our senior population. I want to get a couple of your stories, but i got one more for you. Not only are millions losing their health insurance uh, after the president not only guaranteed that, period, nobody would lose their policy if they liked it, period, but he also said back in 2010 that if you had a policy that doesn't live up to what the future will require, we'll grandfather it in. I just played that bite a little while ago for Ann Coulter. We'll grandfather it in, he said. So these are lies, and now comes a report from NBC News uh, that uh, four sources deeply involved with the Affordable Care Act told NBC that 50 to 75 percent of the 14 million who buy their insurance individually can expect to receive a cancellation, and that the Obama administration and Obama knew this. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's out there. That's being reported. The numbers I've heard, we've got one and a half million Americans who've received a letter from an insurance company indicating that uh, they're being canceled. And uh, so, I mean, that's what happened to Mike out of Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, he received such a letter and, and showed it to our office. Uh, he was also, uh, he discovered subsequently that he's going to see a premium increase from 500 bucks up to $1,400. That's 280% uh, in premium increase. Pretty inconsistent with the president's promise that we're going to see roughly a $2,500 per year savings. Uh, in premium uh, per uh, American. Well, well Congressman, I'm talking, talking to Congressman Todd Young, Republican from Indiana, a member of House Ways and Means, held hearings today. Tomorrow, Kathleen Sebelius will testify for before a different committee, uh, people calling for her resignation, of course. But, I mean, is it safe to say, can, can, would you say that the president lied all along? You know, I, I try not to uh, uh, employ the, uh, the three-letter L word, <laughs> but, um, you know, let's just say there's an inconsistency in the facts that needs to be explained. Uh, and uh, there's certainly an inconsistency between uh, previous promises and what's been delivered with this health care law. All right, then going forward, Congressman, what, what, what do you propose or what, what, what school of thought are you, uh, are you in uh, with regard to how to go forward? We have uh, the, many Democrats in the Senate now, most of whom are up for re-election, uh, red states saying, okay, let's uh, pass legislation to delay this for a year or whatever. Uh, there are others who say, wait a minute, that would give the Democrats an out. That means there'd be no, uh, there'd be no, uh, you know, accountability for, uh, for the 2014 elections. I, uh, Chris Ruddy, my boss, uh, CEO Newsmax.com, uh, CEO Newsmax Media, he wrote a column which has stirred all this. Uh, Larry Kudlow followed. George Will and Ann Coulter today both told me they agree with the strategy of letting the chips fall where they may. Do, let, Republicans should not uh, vote to delay this. Just the president wanted, to, wanted it to take effect, said he argued for it during the shutdown, said you can't be delayed. So why come to his rescue now is what they're saying. What do you say? Well, look, I mean, this thing's going to be a train wreck on its own. I don't think it needs uh, much help from uh, Republicans. Uh, and, and that, of course, is the language of Max Bach is a prominent right, Democrat. Right, right. Um, so do I, we delay I, it or not? Or just I think let it we come? can continue to make the argument uh, uh, that uh, this is a fundamentally flawed law. We're going to see the premiums go up. Uh, we're going to see people continue to lose coverage. Um, I don't think it's inconsistent to make those arguments and for more fundamental health care reform while arguing that the one-year delay for the individual mandate uh, that we passed out of the House back in July uh, is still something that the Senate should take up. So that's my position. Okay. I also think that uh, we need to restore the 40-hour work week. I mean, that's something that uh, I guess traditionally has been uh, associated with the Democrat uh, Party. And uh, suddenly, with respect to Obamacare, they want employers that employ people 30 hours a week or more to provide them with government-sanctioned health insurance. Uh, let's move that up to 40 hours so that we can keep businesses competitive and prevent workers from losing uh, 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 hours that they desperately need to put food on the table and pay their bills. All right, Congressman, thank you for joining us. I hope you'll come back, sir. Absolutely. Take Thanks care. for having Thank you. My their bills. All right, Congressman, thank you for joining us. I hope you'll come back, sir. Absolutely. Take Thanks care. for having Thank you. My pleasure. That's Congressman Todd Young, Republican, Indiana. Uh, and he is, uh, of course, a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, very interesting uh, testimony today. Uh, once again, oh, I can't, tomorrow is Kathleen Sebelius before a different House committee. But that should be something. Now, how much she'll say and uh, how much material she'll give to Saturday Night Live to spoof her uh, for this coming Saturday, <laughs> I don't know. 
but it's going to be interesting uh, to say the least. All right, still ahead on this great show of ours, if I say so myself. Uh, John Fund will be here. Mike Baker, former CIA covert operative, will be here to talk about the NSA and uh, the, the, the world reaction to uh, the fact that we spy on foreign leaders. Um, we'll also speak to Rich Fowler, Democratic strategist, um, and a man who, um, well, the group is called Military Religious Freedom Foundation, but um, the group is uh, looking to uh, get So Help Me God taken out of the Air Force pledge. We talked about this amongst ourselves uh, the other day, so we'll debate it uh, with Chris Rota, the senior research director for that group. Stay with us and join us if you want to weigh in. 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. This is the Tuesday edition, which means tomorrow's Wednesday. How could that be? On the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio. The Steve Malzberg Attention, anyone with diabetes or pre-diabetes, call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES to learn about a special program that has been created just for you. In this solution kit, we reveal the one weird spice that's probably in your kitchen right now and how it normalizes blood sugar levels. People who have followed this plan exactly as found in this risk-free kit have not only normalized their blood sugar, but have stopped taking their diabetes medications with their doctor's astounded approval. Now you can take this natural, safe, and drug-free approach to reversing your diabetes. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and get information about three specific actions to take right now today that normalize your blood sugar and get it under control in four weeks or less. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES. Is it possible to reverse diabetes? Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and find out now. While this revolutionary information is still available risk-free, it's toll free 855 500 diabetes 855 500 diabetes if your prostate is giving you problems and your doc said 55 500 diabetes if your prostate is giving you problems and your doc says it's just part of getting older be wary renowned physician and author dr david brownstein thinks this is baloney he's discovered a link between aging and prostate health and believes prostate concerns do not have i personally formulated prostate revive to include the most essential natural ingredients available to help promote a healthy prostate i personally formulated prostate revive to include the most essential natural ingredients available to help promote a healthy prostate of feedback from satisfied customers that for a limited time they are willing to send you your first month supply free. Plus, call now and you'll also receive Dr. Brownstein's special report, A Doctor's Guide to a Healthy Prostate. For details on getting your free bottle, call 1-800-596-REVIVE. That's 1-800-596-REVIVE. Take control with Prostate Revive. Call now while supplies last to claim your risk-free bottle at 1-800-596-REVIVE. If you're a man over 40, your prostate could be forcing you to urinate frequently, even disrupting your sleep multiple times each night. You're not alone. Over half of could be forcing you to urinate frequently, even disrupting your sleep multiple times each night. You're not alone. Over half of that aging prostate concerns are not inevitable. That's why Dr. Brownstein developed Prostate Revive, an advanced dietary supplement containing a unique blend of 15 ingredients designed to promote optimal prostate health. So men, as part of this new radio promotion, you now have the opportunity to claim your own 30-day supply of Prostate Revive. Contain as part of this new radio promotion, you now have the opportunity to claim your own 30-day supply of Prostate Revive, containing a handling charge. Plus, if you act now, you'll also get a doctor's guide to a healthy prostate as a bonus gift. Please visit prostaterevive.com/radio for details on getting your 30-day supply of Prostate Revive and free report. That's prostaterevive.com/radio. Do something about those annoying age-related prostate concerns. Visit prostaterevive .com /radio. Do something about those annoying age-related prostate concerns. Visit prostaterevive.com slash radio now while supplies last. Attention seniors and baby boomers. A new website has been created just for you. SocialSecurity311.com at SocialSecurity311.payouts. For example, did you know how you file for Social Security can dramatically change the amount of money you collect? One simple step could add up to $1,000 to your monthly payouts. And other loopholes we found reveal 33 ways for big savings on your health care. At SocialSecurity311.com, you will also discover how you could save up to 
50% on your groceries, along with 49 other ways to save as much as $50,000 starting today. Newsmax says this website is a critical resource for anyone over the age of 50. So go to socialsecurity311.com now to find out how you could add extra money to your Social Security checks. That's socialsecurity311.com. Socialsecurity311.com. Abio.com slash offer. Breaking news and breaking hearts. Aww. This is the Steve Malsberg Show. All right, folks, welcome back to the uh, Steve Malsberg Show. Glad you are with us. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, John Fund will join us. Uh, then later in the uh, hour, in studio, Mike Baker, former CIA covert operative and uh, host of a new show on uh, the Travel Channel. It's called uh, Tra- Travel Channel, he said, and it's called uh, America Declassified, so we'll hear all about that. Uh, I want you to listen to Chris Matthews, because if ever there was an example of a hypocrite, you got to hear this. you got to hear this. This is Chris Matthews from, um, well, is this the first one? Okay, yeah. Why don't we start well, let's play, let's play the one from yesterday. This is Chris Matthews from uh, yesterday or the, or the day before on uh, Hardball on MSNBC. This is uh, cut 33, Will. Let's give a listen to 33. Um, then you run into a situation where these agencies, the CIA, the State Department, and the military don't necessarily talk to each other and, and are in communications as much as you'd think. Especially well, you know, uh, you know, as an American, that doesn't work for me. The president's the uh, national security agency people are sitting in the White House 24-7. There's officers on deck. They're getting an instantaneous report on what's happening there. Why, what were they looking at in terms of assets that could have been sent? Where was the U.S. cavalry, to use an American image? Where were the people that could have come or tried to get there within how many hours it took to save the lives of the people still living? Where were they and why weren't they called to do it? That's, I'm going to ask that question until I get an answer. Oh, whoa! Chris Matthews, Hawk! He's going to ask that question till he gets an answer. Is it now? Does Chris Matthews have a twin brother by the same name, or a twin brother who, you know, occasionally slips into the seat? And maybe, of course, he has a different name, but he plays Chris on TV because this isn't the Chris Matthews from months and months ago on MSNBC. It can't be because I want you to listen to Cut Thirty Four. Benghazi, Benghazi. It's what will transform a party of weak presidential candidacies and frozen in place politics and congressional obstruction. For as long as the eye can see, they lack a national candidate who could truly woo woo the vital American center and still meet the harsh dictates of its own political base. Nor can it find the policy that will grab the country's imagination. What they have in their sights now, what they savor with mouth-watering anticipation is, let's call it what it is, what they're drooling to devour is dirt. They're hoping if they can keep making charges, keep digging, keep promising more than one fine day, they will find something in the desert sands of Libya to justify their existence. (laughs) Now, could that possibly have been the same Chris Matthews that you just heard? I mean, I ask you. Schizophrenia, does it, it, you know, it's, it's not bipolar. That would be completely schizoid, if that's the word. No? Back in May, there he was, Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Oh, the par- Republicans are digging for dirt. They have to justify their existence. And yesterday, I'm going to keep asking that question. Why didn't the president do this on Benghazi? What's going on with Benghazi? Huh? Wow. I don't know, Chris. I don't know. I guess, you know, if, if, if there's any, anybody out there with any information... Along the lines that Chris Matthews has a, a, a exact, you know, uh, identical twin brother. Uh, please let me know because maybe he's been, you know, locked in a closet somewhere, or maybe Chris was locked in a closet somewhere, and uh, lack of oxygen to the brain, and he suddenly had a. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. How do you explain that? Well, when you're not held accountable in your job, no matter what your job is, it's easy. If you could do anything, say anything, take the word racism and give it a brand new definition. Call people all kinds of names, Nazis, this, that. Say that one day Rush Limbaugh, someone's going to put a pellet in his head and we're all going to watch Rush Limbaugh's head explode. And that's a yuck yuck. If you could get away with all that and be called a national treasure by your boss, as Phil Griffin did refer to um, uh, Chris Matthews, then there is no accountability. 
So, you know, one day you're, it's, you're saying Benghazi is a, is a made-up scandal, in effect, and a few months later you're saying, I'm going to keep on Benghazi until I get those answers. I don't get it. But, hey, I'm not paid to get it. I am paid to give it to you. Now, if you get it, I'd love to hear from you. 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. I, but I, 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 I just I don't get it. Now, I have here, and I don't know if I have the whole story, uh, but I have here from our friend Tim Graham at Newsbusters a, a story with the headline, Sunday Washington Post Magazine has new date lab, quote with a, a, you know parentheses, a date lab mission, setting up threesomes. The weekly date lab feature in the Washington Post Magazine rarely goes well, he writes. The blind dates routinely fail or the connection fizzles after the first meeting, but Sunday's meeting was a big hit. Between the two women with unconventional outlooks, Kristen Richards and Megan Kane, who Kristen found sexy for having a shaved head. This gets better and better, doesn't it? But it was the small type post-blind date update for the Sunday feature that really packed a punch, writes Tim. A threesome, or a threesome? Two of them decided to add a third for their next date at a neighborhood bar. She invited my boyfriend so she could meet him, Kristen says. It's really fun to hang out with them both. Megan says Kristen was still awesome and really great to be around. When he was also, And he was also interesting and fun, engaging and attractive. Plans for a third date are in the works. This is so exciting. Is this the new goal for the Post, he asks, serving as a menage a trois trolling site? There was a hint of alternative lifestyles in this passage. Megan says she's in a relationship and is interested in dating people, being in a relationship and having other kinds of relationships, which is something that I appreciate and admire. Kristen, I mean, what are the chances that, that information is not problematic for a person you're on a date with? Most of the things I say surprise most people in the world, and she was not taken aback. No, writes Tim. The people taken aback are the post readers who realized that nothing is sacred on Sunday. Threesomes. Hey, you know, uh, get in touch with uh, the Date Lab at the Washington Post if you're interested. I don't know. You know, maybe they could throw Chris Matthews into the mix somehow. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but <laughs> we did follow Chris Matthews with the threesome story. Believe me, there was no, uh, no intent Nothing, nothing meant uh, by that whatsoever. Whew. Okay, you know, you live and learn. When we come back, Mike Baker uh, will be here. As I said, former CIA covert operative to discuss his new TV show on the Travel Channel and weigh in on all this uh, NSA spying stuff and uh, all this feigned outrage by foreign leaders as if they don't do it to us and they didn't know we were doing it to them. When the Steve Ballsberg Show continues on Newsmax TV and radio. The Steve. Attention, anyone with diabetes or pre-diabetes, call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES to learn about a special program that has been created just for you. In this solution kit, we reveal the one weird spice that's probably in your kitchen right now and how it normalizes blood sugar levels. People who have followed this plan exactly as found in this risk-free kit have not only normalized their blood sugar, but have stopped taking their diabetes medications with their doctor's astounded approval. Now you can take this natural, safe, and drug-free approach to reversing your diabetes. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and get information about three specific actions to take right now today that normalize your blood sugar and get it under control in four weeks or less. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES. Is it possible to reverse diabetes? Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and find out now. While this revolutionary information is still available risk-free, that's toll free 855 500 diabetes 855 500 diabetes when you were younger you probably never considered your heart health but cardiologist dr chauncey crandall knows from experience that taking steps to care for your heart becomes more crucial as the decades pass if you want to keep this vital organ ticking smoothly for years to come that's why Dr. Crandall recently developed Cardio Advanced, a nutritional supplement containing 12 special ingredients, all selected to help improve and maintain your heart health and normal cholesterol levels. The flagship of this exclusive formula, Esterified Plant Sterols, may help lower your risk of heart disease when taken as part of a diet low in cholesterol and fat. And great news. Now, you have the opportunity
opportunity to try a 30-day supply of Cardio Advanced. Simply cover a $4.95 shipping and handling charge. Plus, if you act right now, you'll also receive a free doctor's guide to a healthy heart as a special bonus. Please visit CardioAdvanced.com slash radio for complete details on claiming your 30-day bottle of Cardio Advanced and free report. That's CardioAdvanced.com slash radio. Life is too precious to ignore your heart health. Visit CardioAdvanced.com slash radio now while supplies last. Judging from everything you hear, you think all cholesterol is bad, but that's not really true. You need a certain amount of cholesterol to maintain good health. The problem is that too much cholesterol in your blood contributes to a plaque, a fatty substance that narrows the coronary arteries that feed blood flow to your heart. Picture your coronary arteries as a four-lane highway. If one lane becomes blocked, traffic still flows well. Two lanes, no major problem. But if a third lane becomes blocked, that spells trouble. It's the same way with your coronary arteries. And when plaque slows their blood flow to your heart, this can even cause a heart attack. The good news is that when it comes to cholesterol, lifestyle changes can pay off big time. Even a small reduction in plaque can be like opening up another highway lane. Suddenly, blood flow that was stalled can go forward again. Changing your lifestyle does not have to be hard. And in fact, here are three ways to help you start lowering your cholesterol. Snack on nuts. Nuts are probably one of the easiest and tastiest ways to lower cholesterol. Walnuts and almonds are among the best. Bulk up your diet with fiber. Choose whole fruits instead of a fruit juice, brown rice instead of white. And if you're eating a baked potato, be sure to leave the skin on. Choose fish. Fish contains cholesterol-fighting omega-3 fatty acids. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thanks for watching this Heart Health Minute. Remember, it's never too late to prevent or reverse heart disease. Right now, I invite you to discover your own risk for heart disease or even a heart attack by taking my quick, free online quiz at www.simpleheartest.com matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. This is not your typical Scream Fest talk show. No. 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 This is the next generation of talk radio. Here is Steve Malsberg. For many middle-class Americans who buy their own health insurance, there could be another frustration, and that is sticker shock. After some learn, they must buy new policies that cover more but cost more as well. NBC's Peter Alexander at the White House for us tonight. Peter, good evening. Brian, good evening. After weeks of questions about whether the Obamacare website could be fixed and when, many policy experts say that is masking what is the real issue here, how much these plans will actually cost. Yeah, and we know uh, how much these plans will actually cost. Uh, people are getting frozen out of their existing plans. And uh, Barack Obama apparently uh, knew it all along. I want to put something up as we welcome in our friend John Fund, uh, National Affair columnist for the National Review and senior editor at the American Spectator. Uh, hey, John, how are you? Pleasure, Steve. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, I just, we're putting up on the, on the screen for those watching at Newsmax TV Cut 15, which is a picture of the White House website which actually still says uh, that, uh, you know, if you like your current insurance, uh, nobody is going to uh, take that away from you. Um, we played a cut earlier that, uh, of Obama in 2010, not only saying that, but also saying that you could have your, your, uh, your policy grandfathered in if, uh, if you're happy with your insurance uh, that you have. So, you know, it's been three years of nothing but misrepresentations and lies that continue today. Well, let's just be charitable and say the White House loves to engage in alternate conceptualization of reality. <laughs> yeah, I had Congressman um, uh, Todd Young, who was uh, at the hearings today. He's a member of the House Ways and Means, and he, he also wouldn't say the L-I-E word, but he came up with something. Uh, all right, so they also had uh, a woman who was uh, basically uh, taking the, the heat for the uh, disaster of the Obamacare website rollout. She apologized. Uh, she refused to tell them how many people had actually signed up for Obamacare. But nonetheless, uh, 
where do you stand on where this whole thing is and, and how to go forward? Well, first of all, what Valerie Jarrett and Jay Carney and the rest of the White House apologists are putting out is, well, we didn't order these insurance policies to be canceled. The insurance companies are doing this. Well, that is, well, let's just say bullcrunky. Because what the Obamacare law did, and everybody knew it at the time, is it said, we don't like a lot of the plans that people have signed up for. The deductibles are too high. They're catastrophic plans. They don't include all of this other mandated stuff that we like and that very special interest groups are pressuring us to put into the basic health care package all Americans have to buy. So it's technically true they didn't order the insurance companies to cancel it, but they set standards, minimum standards for the basic package that a lot of insurance plans don't meet. Therefore, they have to be canceled. Therefore, you get put into a much more gold-plated policy that's going to cost you a whole lot more. Yeah, no, well, absolutely. Absolutely. But um, going forward, uh, do you see an extension coming down the road for uh, – uh, you know, for for people to have to sign up so they won't get penalized? Do you see the Republicans participating in that extension, or do you see the Republicans banding together and saying, hey, we tried, you didn't want it, and now we're well, not giving it to you? Well, let, let's, let's be candid here. This administration, through executive orders, has decided they can do just about anything without consulting Congress. So the Republicans just basically have to sit and wait and see what the administration's polls show, and if the administration's polls show that Democrats are panicking, and uh, could lose more seats in November 2014 than they expected, they'll do whatever it takes to delay, deny, and defer things. Uh, the real issue here is going to be people with employer-based insurance. About 85% of people with health care policies get it through their employer. They don't have the individual market. I think increasingly if employers start reducing people's hours to 29 hours a week, which is the definition of a full-time job under Obama, apparently, mm -hmm. uh, if they start taking people off of coverage and saying go shop in the exchanges because it's a lot cheaper for the employer to do that, uh, then I think you're going to see a full-fledged revolt. And then the number of people who benefit from Obamacare, these people who are going to get subsidies in the lower income uh, range, uh, and also those people who are going to be added to Medicaid will be dramatically exceeded by the number of people who are net losers under Obamacare. And that's what the administration has to worry about. Uh, can they bring in enough young people in the exchanges to make the subsidies work? Because you need balance. Otherwise, the insurance companies are going to start withdrawing from the exchanges, and then it becomes a complete mess. We're talking to John Fun, National Affair uh, contrib uh, columnist for the uh, National Review and senior editor at the American Spectator here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Um, I don't believe that they planned this kind of a disastrous rollout, but I do believe that the plan all along has been um, to make everyone lose their, uh, their health insurance. I don't think this is a surprise, and I think that the plan is to have a, a single-payer plan. Uh, I don't know how many years it's going to take, but Obama all along has said that that's what he favored, and I believe that that's what the bulk of the Democrats who passed this monstrosity have always wanted. I think they basically felt that this would erode the insurance market over time and throw more and more people on government uh, medical roles and that more people would become frustrated, throw up their hands and say, let's just do something simple and have the government handle it all. I think that was the ultimate plan. But that was on the timed release basis. This is happening much more quickly than they expected and with the collapse of the website much more vi visibly. So I think they hoped for failure but didn't expect that failure would come so quickly. In, one, in other words, Steve, they succeeded too well too quickly. <laughs> It's a good way to put it. All right, Kathleen Sebelius will testify tomorrow up on Capitol. Well, she already has the, the scapegoat. Uh, today was the muted apology from the underling running yes. the Medicare and Medicaid. So tomorrow it'll be, it's the contractor's fault. Go blame them. Well, I mean, you know, she's going to be questioned, and uh, hopefully with questions that, uh, you know, peppered with questions that she's going to be unable to answer or unwilling to answer. And I guess at, le at the very least she'll provide enough ammunition for another Saturday Night Live uh, skit on her, on her performance. Kathleen Sebelius has the safest job in America because she can't be fired. Uh, if she's fired, uh, a bunch of people in the Democratic base will say, you fired the only woman? You know, what men have to be fired? I mean, she, she just was a loyal soldier. Other people higher up the chain of command should be fired. And, of course, no one wants to be fired. Uh, secondly, if she were to be fired... Mm -hmm. Uh, she would be one unhappy camper, and there would always be the suspicion that she could go on national television and gasp, maybe tell the truth. 
<laughs> uh, which which could bring us to the NSA and why that wouldn't happen. But I don't think uh, I don't think she has many skeletons in her closet, uh, or, or who knows? Maybe 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 we all do. All right, John. Always good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. A real pleasure, Steve. Thank you. My pleasure, John Fund, ladies and gentlemen, national affairs car- columnist for the. Uh, National Review, you may have heard of that, and, of course, a senior editor at the American Spectator here on the Steve Malzberg Show, and Mike Baker will uh, join us next um, in, the, uh, in, in the next segment. It's, uh, it's very interesting. I want you to uh, hear a couple of more of the uh, sound bites from the NBC report that we started the, the hour with right before John came on, and this is about uh, how the Obama administration knew, knew that uh, you weren't going to be able to keep your your individual policy, no matter what President Obama said, and I'll say it, he lied. He absolutely, positively lied. And it's it's hilarious watching Jay Carney sweating and trying to spin it into saying, well, you know, uh, we, it depends on what the meaning of keep is, kind of basically is what he's now saying. Incredible stuff. And Sheila Jackson Lee, at least she didn't say martial law this time, but she was on opposite our friend Congressman Marshall Blackburn, on um, on on uh, CNN uh, today and Marsha Blackburn. There go the Republicans. This it's Halloween and they're out to scare people. Never addressing anything that was asked of her or said to her, uh, either by the host or by Marsha Blackburn. It's insane. They know they they're they're in trouble, uh, and they have nothing to say. What are they gonna say? Obama lied. Now they're saying, well, of course it was inevitable. Some people would lose their insurance. Okay, so let's uh, let, let's listen to cut seventeen here from NBC Nightly News you've last got night. Health insurance. It doesn't uh, mean a government takeover. Uh, You keep your own insurance. You keep your own doctor. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. Yeah, there you go. That's from the report. And then here's cut 18. But in Los Angeles, that isn't what Deborah Cavallaro is finding. A self-employed realtor, she buys her own insurance. Cavallaro's provider recently sent her this notice, reading, because of the requirements of the new laws, we can no longer offer your current policy. All I want is what I currently have. I want to keep my doctors, and I would like to have lower premiums. The insurance company is offering her a new plan that would cost $484 a month versus her current $293 premium, a 65% increase. Why so much more? The Affordable Care Act requires that all plans include 10 essential health benefits, from maternity care to pediatric services. Yeah, right. I need pediatric services for my plan, right? Don't you? You grandparents out there, don't you need pediatric services and maternity? That's another thing I need, maternity care for my plan. This is insanity, total insanity. Here's cut number, I don't know what we're up to, the next cut. That millions will lose or have to change their individual policies is not a surprise to the administration. NBC News senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers found buried in the 2010 Obamacare regulations language predicting a reasonable range for the percentage of individual policies that would terminate is 40 percent to 67 percent. 40 to 67 percent. You know what Carney said today? Jay Carney, the president's spokesman, you could keep your plan. You could keep your plan unless your insurance company takes it away from you. <laughs> Well, hey, Jay, uh, why would the insurance company take it away if we like it? We were told if you like it, you could keep it, period. As a matter of fact, let's play some of these. If you like it, you could keep it, period. Um, I believe cut 17. Can we play cut 17? Dr. Obama. If you've got health insurance, it doesn't uh, mean a government takeover. Uh, you keep your own insurance. You keep your own doctor. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. Uh, unless your insurance company takes it away because it doesn't meet the requirements of Obamacare. Duh. Let's go from 17 to uh, how about 21? Cut 21. This is also Dr. Obama. If you like your insurance plan, you one. Cut 21. This is also Dr. Obama. If you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. No one will be able to take that away from you. It hasn't happened yet. See that? He just forgot to tell us for three years that unless your insurance company takes it away from you. See that? He just forgot to tell us for three years that unless your insurance company takes it away from you. When he said no one, 
He didn't mean the people giving you the policy or providing you the policy that which you pay for left out here and a word left out there, and it completely inadvertently changed the meaning of what Barack Obama was trying to say. And the great constitutional scholar and constitutional law professor, he didn't know he was misrepresenting uh, the entire thing by leaving out a word here and a word there. You get it? Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, we got more on this? Let's see. Uh, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, we got more on this? Let's see. Uh, Actually, any insurance that you currently have would be grandfathered in so you could keep. Um, and so you could decide not to get in the exchange the better plan. I, I could keep my ACME insurance, uh, just a high deductible catastrophic plan. Uh, I would not be required to get the better one. Yeah. Unless your insurance company takes it away from you because it doesn't meet the new stringent requirements uh, put out there by from you because it doesn't meet the new stringent requirements uh, put out there by t give them a break, will you? Oh, my goodness. Folks, t give them a break, will you? Oh, my goodness. Folks. That, this isn't impeachable. Lying to the American public isn't impeachable. It's been, other than they're afraid of being called you know, anti-black, I don't know why no one's talking about impeachment. Steve Malzberg Show, coming right back. The tired of calls, levies, and liens from the IRS or hiring others who don't get the job done? Call Wall & Associates and you'll never talk to the IRS again. The IRS has a program to eliminate tax debt and Wall & Associates professionals are trained to maximize its benefits for you. You always speak with a live person with real support and real knowledge. We've helped thousands of taxpayers like you settle their tax debt with the IRS for a fraction of what they owe. We solve tax problems. Call Wall & Associates now. 800-574-6029. We have the professionals who know how to solve tax problems. If you owe money to the IRS, your tax problems are not going away by themselves, and the passage of time will only make matters worse. Act now, before it's too late. Call Wall & Associates right now to speak to a professional tax relief agent. Call 800-574-6029. That's 800-574-6029. Again, 800-574-6029. Are payday loans ruining your life? If you have two or more payday loan cash advances, listen closely. You may be eligible for a program that payday loan companies don't want you to know about. This program will get payday loan companies out of your bank account and put an end to the payday loan nightmare. Call for free information and find out if Payday Loan Support Center is right for you. Payday loan companies usually trap you into paying rates as high as 700%. We understand payday lenders' tactics. Don't let them take advantage of you anymore. All you need is two or more payday loans to qualify. We can help even if you're behind in collections or have bad credit. Internet payday loans qualify for this program as well. So call 800-250-5084. That's 800-250-5084. The call is free and the consultation is free. Don't miss out. Call for your free information on payday loan relief. 800-250-5084. That's 800-250-5084. Again, 800-250-5084. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your weight management plan need an extra edge for success? If so, listen up. Metabio is the revolutionary weight loss breakthrough designed to help you reach your goal weight as part of your diet and exercise program. Metabio is the premium nutritional supplement power packed with five high quality ingredients. When used as part of a healthy lifestyle, each component is formulated to help you reach your goals and maintain your optimal weight and wellness. It supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. Now, learn how you can try a 30-day supply of Metabio. Just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit themetabio.com slash special. Act now and also receive instant access to our downloadable special report, A Practical Guide to Healthy Weight Management. Try it now at themetabio.com slash special. That's the, M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash special. While supplies last, themetabio.com slash special. When you were younger, you probably never considered your heart health. 
But cardiologist Dr. Chauncey Crandall knows from experience that taking steps to care for your heart becomes more crucial as the decades pass, if you want to keep this vital organ ticking smoothly for years to come. That's why Dr. Crandall recently developed Cardio Advanced, a nutritional supplement containing 12 special ingredients, all selected to help improve and maintain your heart health and normal cholesterol levels. The flagship of this exclusive formula, Esterify Plant Sterols, may help lower your risk of heart disease when taken as part of a diet low in cholesterol and fat. And great news. Now, you have the opportunity to try a 30-day supply of Cardio Advanced. Simply cover a $4.95 shipping and handling charge. Plus, if you act right now, you'll also receive a free doctor's guide to a healthy heart as a special bonus. Please visit cardioadvance.com slash radio for complete details on claiming your 30-day bottle of Cardio Advanced and free report. That's cardioadvance.com slash radio. Life is too precious to ignore your heart health. Visit cardioadvance.com slash radio now while supplies last. Drug, alcohol, and gambling addiction can be devastating for you and your loved ones. Don't let the disease of addiction ruin everything you've worked so hard for. The Treatment Helpline has helped thousands of people just like you take control of their addictions and live healthier, cleaner, and happier lives. You are not alone. Now there's hope. The Treatment Helpline has helped people just like you overcome their addiction. If you or a loved one is suffering from a drug, alcohol, or gambling addiction, let us help you today. Call 1-800-813-9821. Our seasoned addiction treatment professionals can show you how to use your private health insurance to help cover the costs of this life-changing program. Call now and get a free confidential consultation. 1-800-813-9821. That's 1-800-813-9821. Help is only a phone call away. Call 1-800-813-9821. That's 1-800-813-9821. Capital Now, 800-634-0482. The Steve Mossberg Show is just a bit different from the other radio shows. We have TV cameras. Watch the show at Newsmax.com or listen on your favorite radio station. Here's Steve Malsberg. The show at Newsmax.com or listen on your favorite radio station. Here's Steve Malsberg. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Steve Malsberg Show. Uh, I have to tell you, I'm sitting here in the studio talking to a covert operative and host of a brand new show on the Travel Channel called America Declassified. We'll talk about that in a second. But, um, you know, as a, as a former spy and all that, immediately Mike Baker noticed, for those of you watching on Newsmax TV, uh, these new Steve Malsberg Show Mike flags. If, if we could, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'll show you. There they are. Steve that. Malsberg Show Mike Flag. So, yeah, so good spying. Yeah, I like thank, that. No, thank you very much. And, and, and I understand you're giving away these to every viewer. And no, no, only trick or treaters so, on okay. Halloween. All right, all right. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, let's first, we got a lot to cover. First right. of all, um, talk about the show. When does it start and what's it about? It kicks off, uh, premieres this Sunday, 3 November, 10 p.m. Uh, and it's on Travel Channel, America Declassified, and it's, you know, it's 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 a it's a really uh, great program, which is exactly what you would expect me to say. But it's informative and entertaining. And what they do, the idea behind it when they got started, and 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 they've really done a terrific job uh, at travel and Indigo Films is. They identify places around the country, and they take viewers to places that they wouldn't normally see on their own. So they're restricted. They're, they're, they're top secret. Um, they're wrapped up in some sort of mystery or conspiracy. And so we take the viewers somewhere, and then we start to peel back the layers on whatever that story is behind that place. And the access they've been able to, to, to get to some of these locations has been fantastic. Some of the stories that we've been doing in terms of the conspiracies have been really you astounding. Want to give us a, an example? Sure, yeah. yeah. The, first, uh, the first episode, Sunday night... Uh, one of the stories we're looking at uh, the JFK assassination. Now, obviously, we're coming up on the 50th anniversary, sure. and so we went down there. They they got terrific access into the into the museum. We were able to get up on the vantage point where Lee Harvey Oswald uh, took that allegedly you took went that into shot. The book, uh, the, we're in the, the book warehouse, depository, yeah. but they gave us access to the to the top floor, right okay. above, one floor above, because you can't get into the actual room. It's glassed off uh, on the sixth floor. And then one of the things that we were able to do is basically conduct some forensic testing. We went out with the permission, obviously, of the the authorities, and we tested the second shooter theory. 
um, there was a very, very credible witness, Lee Bowers, who worked in the train yard that was behind the grassy knoll, still is, but it's closed now. Mm -hmm. And there's a switching station, two levels, two stories, and that's closed. We got access into there because Lee Bowers on that day was standing up there at the switching station, and he reported seeing a muzzle flash or a puff of smoke or something, and an individual back behind the picket fence on the grassy knoll that mm -hmm. looks down onto the road. Yeah. And Lee Bowers then died in a one-car accident, uh, mysteriously about six months later, mm -hmm. um, when he drove into a side of a bridge. Um, At least he didn't commit suicide by shooting himself in the back of the head. There is that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, which is always a clue, yes, I feel. Yes. And so we, uh, we were able to get out there and, and test, you know, A, could he have seen what he said? Mm -hmm. And B, we then uh, we fired some shots off using a rifle there at the picket fence, testing that 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 angle, that that the, right. you know, the, the type of yeah. shot that would have required if the second shooter was there. Uh, fascinating because we're, we stopped traffic, so there's no traffic. But we couldn't stop pedestrians, so there were people moving through Dealey Plaza. And you're and firing off a gun? We fired off a long weapon, and uh, and it was uh, astounding. The first couple of times we did wow. it, people were, were... So that's yeah. the first show. That's the first show. Right, very, yeah. very good. And, uh, you know, then we're going to, uh, you know, the country's only uh, underground burial vault for radioactive waste. Um, we look at the, the assassination of, of Martin Luther King. We're looking at the D.B. Cooper case. Remember that? Yeah, yeah America's only unsolved Absolutely. hijacking. Yeah, fascinating. Great stuff. Yeah. All right, so it starts on Sunday on the Travel Channel uh, at uh, what, what 10 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I yeah, guess. 10 p.m. Okay. Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific. Great. All right, look forward to that. Now, um, tell us about this NSA. We only have a couple mm, minutes. Right. The president didn't know, or the president did know, or does it? I mean, I think the Israeli government summed it up best uh, today. Like, what the heck's this all about? Everybody spies on everybody. All foreign leaders are right. spied on, right? Right. Israel is spying on us. Uh, French are spying on everybody. The French are very aggressive. I mean, frankly, the French are incredibly aggressive. They one time wired up all the first-class seats on Air France flights going from New York to Paris just to see what they might pick up, you know, from U.S. businessmen traveling yeah, yeah, uh, over, yeah, over yeah. to Paris. Um, the Germans are, are, you know, doing the same thing. Everybody's in that same business, right, to the degree that their resources allow. But the problem is the leaks from Snowden, uh, have pushed that quiet understanding out into the public domain. So a lot of this is theater, what you're seeing in Europe, you know, right. the outrage that we're seeing. Right. Here in the U.S., what we're seeing is a nonsensical response uh, from the president claiming he didn't know about a strategic NSA program. I wouldn't ever expect the president to know day-to-day -day concerns, day-to-day -day operations. Uh, but to say that he was unaware of an NSA strategic program uh, is... It defies belief, you frankly. Mean, you mean it could be a lie? Well, I'm saying See, that he's... the third person yeah, now who won't yeah. say Obama lied that done yeah. this show today. I'm saying that there's yeah. some disingenuity. Okay. Disin now, wait a minute. Now I sound like George W. Bush. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm trying to put two words together. I'm not sure how to say but that. But when he came into yeah. office, yeah. Uh, and this was a program that was instituted in 2002, at least the spying on the German right. guy, so he would have had to have been uh, made aware of it. He would have been briefed on it. And, 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 and the other thing is, uh, for Senator Feinstein to say she is shocked by this... Um, something that's been going on for, for 10 years or so. And she's and on the Intelligence Committee. So her information would have been more granular. She would have been getting more detail. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There is a, a very well-worn path between NSA and CIA and Capitol Hill of briefers constantly back and forth and back and forth. So was Feinstein lying? I believe that she <laughs> might be twisting the reality. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Right, but but yeah. Yeah, we only have 30 yeah. seconds. But right. I know everybody spies, but on the foreign leaders, on the Merkels, on the Obamas, if they could, on the Netanyahus, yes? Right. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to make clear. Right. All right. So it's much ado about nothing. And it would have behooved us to say, and we don't have time, hey, you don't like it too bad. We all do it. But right. anyway, okay. No, no we have absolutely. To, we have to prostrate ourselves and, and, and bang no, ourselves. We do. And you know what we may do? The most damning thing from this is that they may actually try to change the parameters right. here right. based on political theater. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, we'll watch for you on the Travel Channel Sunday at 10. Thank you Mike much, Baker, man. thank you, sir. Thank you. Steve Malsberg Show, we're coming back. Don't go away. What is Lignet? Lignet is knowledge. Lignet is power. Lignet is global. Top-level officials, U.S. intelligence officers, national security advisors, foreign operatives, all reporting directly to you. What is Lignet? Lignet is confidential. Lignet is sensitive. Lignet is security. What is Lignet? They're the ones taking the world's pulse. If you're not in the know, you're not on Lignet.com. You've been briefed. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your weight management plan need an extra edge for success? If so, listen up. 
Metabio is the revolutionary weight loss breakthrough designed to help you reach your goal weight as part of your diet and exercise program. Metabio is the premium nutritional supplement power packed with five high quality ingredients. When used as part of a healthy lifestyle, each component is formulated to help you reach your goals and maintain your optimal weight and wellness. It supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. Now, learn how you can try a 30-day supply of Metabio. Just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit themetabio.com slash special. Act now and also receive instant access to our downloadable special report, a practical guide to healthy weight management. Try it now at themetabio.com slash special. That's the M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash special. While supplies last, themetabio.com slash special. In 2013, half of your friends, family, and neighbors may lose their jobs, all while you are robbed of 90% of your life savings, investments, and home's value. Controversial economist Robert Wiedemer, who was the only expert to predict the recession, has released a startling video with shocking evidence that the powers that be have tried to ban. But that hasn't stopped 50 million people from getting the truth. Watch it at AFTbook.com. That's AFTbook.com. Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm Kathleen Walter. The White House says it's looking into whether it should end a program that allows the NSA to spy on foreign leaders. The review comes amid furor overseas over revelations that the U.S. was eavesdropping on German Chancellor Angela Merkel's phone calls. Senator Dianne Feinstein, the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee, says she was not made aware of the program and that any spying on allied heads of state needs to end immediately. She is also calling for a review of all intelligence programs. Obviously, we're going to want to know exactly what the president knew and when he knew it. These revelations call for a thorough review of the collection standards that we were using. The White House won't say whether the president knew about the Merkel eavesdropping, but admits damage has been done. The White House insists the NSA surveillance programs keep America and its allies safe. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, says he will block all of President Obama's nominees until Congress gets more information on Benghazi. Senator Graham, seen here last month, says he'll block every nominee for an executive branch position until more questions are answered on Benghazi and until the survivors of the attack are made available to Congress. I think it's incredibly irresponsible of the Congress to allow any administration to basically shield witnesses uh, who are relevant to a congressional investigation as to what went wrong in Benghazi. So I'm going to start blocking anything and everything I can, only, only to, to do the right thing. Graham also said Congress must up its game and that a joint select committee is needed to investigate. Penn State University says it will pay almost $60 million to 26 young men who were sexually abused at the hands of former football coach Jerry Sandusky. The university says 23 of the men have signed a deal agreeing to the settlement. The other three reportedly have agreed to the deal in principle. The school still faces six other claims of abuse. Sandusky is serving 30 to 60 years in prison after being convicted of 45 counts of child sexual abuse last year. And today marks the one-year anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, which killed 147 people. It also caused an estimated $50 billion in damage, and with more than a half million homes destroyed, many families are still struggling to recover from the damage. The government has announced it will provide a second round of financial relief for Sandy victims. The Red Sox lead the Cardinals in the Major League Baseball's World Series. Three games to two, Boston and St. Louis will face off tomorrow night for Game 6 in Boston. Next on Newsmax Now, Steve Forbes, the CEO and chairman of Forbes Media, on why the U.S. economy is still fighting a fever, plus why gorillas took to the streets of Denver and made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. Those stories when we come back. Attention, anyone with diabetes or pre-diabetes, call toll-free 855 -5 Attention, anyone with diabetes or pre-diabetes, call toll-free 855-5. We reveal the one weird spice that's probably in your kitchen right now and how it normalizes blood sugar levels. People who have followed this plan exactly as found in this risk-free kit have not only normalized their blood sugar, 
but have stopped taking their diabetes medications with their doctor's astounded approval. Now you can take this natural, safe, and drug-free approach to reversing your diabetes. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and get information about three specific actions to take right now today that normalize your blood sugar and get it under control in four weeks or less. Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES. Is it possible to reverse diabetes? Call toll-free 855-500-DIABETES and find out now. While this revolutionary information is still available risk-free, that's toll-free 855-500-DIABETES. 855-500-DIABETES. Bad credit card debt happens to good people. Credit card companies lure you in with low introductory rates or low minimum payments. And before you know it, you owe thousands of dollars in credit card debt. It has happened to millions of good people just like you. But here's the good news. Thanks to a powerful program now approved, anyone with $2,000 or more in credit card debt can cut their credit card payments up to half and even reduce or eliminate interest charges altogether. That's right. Our nationwide nonprofit program is helping U.S. residents cut their credit card payments. Call 800-613-3159 now. The call and information are free. We've helped over half a million people with their credit card debt, and now we can help you. Call 800-613-3159 to see how this powerful nonprofit program can work for you. Bad credit card debt happens to good people. Get free of credit card debt today. Call 800-613-3159. That's 800-613-3159. Again, 800-613-3159. Wow, you look great. Thanks. I've lost some weight. (laughs) What's your secret weapon? Actually, I do, in fact, have one. Really? If you're looking for help in your weight loss efforts, remember this name, Metabio. It just may be the edge you've been looking for. Metabio is the nutritional weight loss breakthrough power packed with five high quality ingredients. Metabio supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. It helps maintain your optimal weight and wellness when used as part of a healthy lifestyle. Now you can receive a 30-day supply of Metabio. Simply cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit thematabio.com slash offer for complete details. Act now and you'll also be given instant access to our downloadable special report, A Practical Guide to Healthy Weight Management. Learn how you can try Metabio for 30 days at thematabio.com slash offer. That's the M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash offer. Hurry, only while supplies last at the Metabio dot com slash offer. For October 29th, take care. Five, four, three, two, one. Broadcasting live from the Newsmax studios, this is the Malsberg Show. Be a part of the action by calling toll free 1 877 Newsmax. That's 1 877 639 7629. Or email Steve at Malsberg Show at Newsmax.com. Here is Steve Malsberg. All right, folks, welcome back. Hour number three of the uh, very highly touted uh, Steve Mulsberg show. <laughs> it's been quite a show, uh, if I do say so myself. Great guests, Ann Coulter, George Will, Congressman Todd Young, John Fund, Mike Baker. Um, who am I leaving out? Um, and no one. I hope uh, General uh, Paul Vallely uh, will uh, be joining us uh, in uh, just a uh, uh, just a moment. Of course, uh, General Vallely uh, retired, uh, who has uh, been a guest with us so many times, uh, talking about a variety of issues. But today, uh, we're going to be talking about the fact that uh, President Obama this year alone has fired nine generals. Nine generals. And joining us now, right now, is uh, Paul E. Valley, General uh, Paul E. Valley, retired U.S. Army. Hello, sir. Hello, Steve. Good to talk to you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yes, it sure has. We're glad to be back with you again. Well, I'm glad to talk to you again. Okay, so here's something that's very troubling because it's all taking place beneath the radar, beneath the fiascos that we concentrate on every day. And, you know, rightfully so. We talk about the health care, the IRS scandal, to an extent Benghazi, and everything else in Syria and, and, and you, you, Iran, and you name it. But very in a very stealth manner, uh, I believe uh, President Obama <clears throat> is um, purging the military of of, of generals uh, and uh, really remaking it in in an image that I guess I won't say his own image, but in an image that uh, that he feels comfortable with, and that can't be good for America. Well, I think there's a couple things here. Uh, 
it's not only been the generals, it's been colonels, it's been enlisted people that have been removed from their jobs, over 125 by our count, uh, some most recently in Afghanistan, uh, that have stood up against certain things. For example, we had an Air Force uh, sergeant that was relieved of his duty by a, uh, a squadron commander who was a woman. Uh, and she was a lesbian, and he did not believe in... Uh, um, same-sex marriages, so uh, she, he was relieved by her. So you have not only the PC of falling in line and social engineering of the military, Steve, uh, but it's up and down the ranks uh, that are being purged for not standing up uh, or for standing up in some cases, but not falling in line with the uh, Obama uh, ideologues. Uh, the other interesting thing, uh, Steve, is uh, if you look at Fast and Furious and Benghazi and all the other uh, scandals that are going on, you don't see anybody being relieved other than the gentleman that was in the White House that was tweeting. So uh, where where is that going uh, or not going in compared to what's happening in the military? Yeah, well, absolutely. Now, let me ask you, uh, General, and by the way, of course, the founder and head of Stand Up uh, uh, America, um, and uh, the website is Stand Up America U.S., Dot org. Check that out. Uh, the numbers, the kind of numbers you're talking about, and and the kind the, the number of generals that I'm talking about this year alone. Um, how common is that, and how common is it for this kind of thing to take place at all? But then again, how how you know how do these numbers stack up to what you've you know been witness to in in uh, past administrations or or even years gone by? Well, we know some of the uh, general officers and senior officers. Uh, I don't have the exact number. Uh, have been uh, relieved of duty for uh, misconduct uh, for a number of different reasons. Uh, usually it's been uh, regarding uh, the male-female situation. Uh, we had a, a general, of course, uh, relieved in Iraq uh, last year, uh, a little over a year ago, uh, another one in Afghanistan. And then, of course, you saw what General Petraeus went through uh, with his uh, venture uh, with uh, Paula Broadwell. So some of it is misconduct, but certainly some, uh, if we look at Benghazi, we know some of them have been purged and we're not able to speak out uh, on the stand-down order there. So uh, you've got a, uh, uh, a situation where uh, they are being purged for a number of different reasons. But again, I'll liken it over to the rest of the uh, departments, Homeland Security, State Department, CIA. Uh, misconduct uh, and uh, ineptness and uh, dereliction of duty. What's happening to them? Nothing. We're talking to uh, Major General uh, Paul E. Vallely, uh, of course, the uh, the founder and president of Stand Up America here on the Steve Malzberg Show. So what does this mean? What what does he get to, uh, he gets to promote generals and, and promote colonels? And uh, I mean, whether he does it himself or puts someone who's like-minded uh, in a position to do it and then he signs off or whatever. So what does it mean in your view for the military if these people are getting purged uh, and are going to be replaced with Obama-approved uh, appointees, whether he does it or, or just uh, you know has confidence in whoever does do it? What does that mean for the military uh, long-term and short-term in your view? Well, short-term and long-term, it shows a uh uh, a program, I'll call it that, to uh, systematically uh, weaken our military, weaken the chain of command. We see uh, the PC uh, generals like uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, uh, General Dempsey, falling in line with Obama all the way on almost everything. But I want to know where the generals and admirals that are standing up and taking care and securing that very vital chain of command because you know it's got to be very detrimental to the morale of the forces when they see these people being picked off and then replaced by uh, Obama neophytes. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. So is there any anything anyone in government uh, could do? Well, sure, Congress uh, could do something. Uh, you know, they have to approve, and the Senate's got to confirm all general officer uh, promotions. So there's some complicity there, I think, in the Senate of not uh, uh, looking at what's really happening within the military. Those are people falling in line, too. In other words, they're approving uh, new general officer promotions, but yet on the backside, they're not protecting some that are being purged, in my opinion. Mm. All right, very interesting uh, and very uh, very troubling, of course. Um, so, you know, I, I, I watched uh, Laura Logan's piece on 60 Minutes uh, on Sunday, uh, General, and 
Um, you know, she uh, had a couple of people on, but uh, the takeaway from it is that uh, the State Department not only turned down, uh, you know, requests for tighter security, but the uh, British citizen who was training the Libyan security guards in Benghazi uh, was not uh, was told he could not let the Libyan guards have weapons, so they had no weapons. Um, the Libyans came and uh, they said they were coming. Uh, uh, the terrorists came and said they were coming to kill Americans, not Libyans. They told that to the guards. They just beat the guards up, and um, and there was clear clear evidence prior to that attack. Al Qaeda on their on one of their websites had posted three three places they were going to attack, and they had already attacked the previous two. So it just it just speaks to not only lack of preparedness and, and, and la uh, an unwillingness to, to combat this, but the lies that were told afterward, the lies. And to just the other day, someone had, to yesterday, someone asked the State Department spokesman, why no reward for, for, the, for the killers of, uh, you know, for the attackers in Benghazi for the, from the State Department when you put out rewards for terrorist acts against Americans all over the world? Well, we're still investigating it. The FBI is doing an investigation, and we, we have to find out exactly who did it. I mean, these lies are incredible. Well, uh, just 30 minutes ago, Steve, uh, Charles Woods called me, and I had about a 15-minute discussion with him. And tell folks who uh, Charles Woods is. Charles Woods is the father of Ty Woods, yep. who was uh, one of the four killed in uh, Benghazi. And he called me, and he said, have you heard anything more? He said, I saw the Laura Logan show, and I told him I'd been in touch with Laura for about four months on Benghazi myself, uh, that uh, nothing's been done. Uh, ESA subpoenaed two more uh, last week in private hearings. There's a third who was with Ty Woods uh, on the roof that got his leg blown off. Uh, and he's in fairly bad shape. He's not been subpoenaed yet. Uh, so uh, it's what you and I talked about previously. Uh, if I compare it to a, a, you know, a, a football game, they, the hearings go to about the 20-yard line, and they never go beyond that. No one in the government's being held responsible or relieved of duty, or purged out of their right, right. Uh, position, they're moved around. So yeah, they never get they never get into the red zone. If you if we want to continue that uh, that analogy, yeah. listen, uh, General, exactly. I'm, up, I'm up against a hard break. Great to talk to you again, sir. We'll do it again soon. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. That's uh, Major General Paul E. Valley, uh, and uh, check out the uh, website StandUpAmericaUS.org. When we come back, we're going to go at it with Democratic strategist uh, uh, Rich Fowler. Right here on the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV and radio. The Steve Malzberg Show. If you're a man over 40, your prostate could be forcing you to urinate frequently, even disrupting your sleep multiple times each night. You're not alone. Over half of men over 40 experience age-related prostate concerns. Fortunately, prominent medical doctor David Brownstein believes that aging prostate concerns are not inevitable. That's why Dr. Brownstein developed Prostate Revive, an advanced dietary supplement containing a unique blend of 15 ingredients designed to promote optimal prostate health. So men, as part of this new radio promotion, you now have the opportunity to claim your own 30-day supply of Prostate Revive, containing Saul Palmetto, Beta Cytosterol, and numerous other prostate helpers. Just cover a $4.95 shipping and handling charge. Plus, if you act now, you'll also get a doctor's guide to a healthy prostate as a bonus gift. Please visit ProstateRevive.com radio for details on getting your 30-day supply of Prostate Revive and free report. That's ProstateRevive.com radio. Do something about those annoying age-related prostate concerns. Visit ProstateRevive.com dot com slash radio now while supplies last we're in the midst of an obesity epidemic and i'm not surprised the statistics on obesity mirror an increasing trend of eating out or ordering in in fact some people dine out every night but eating in restaurants is one of the biggest enemies of your heart when you're in a restaurant, you don't really know what you're getting. And the calorie counts of many restaurant dishes are astronomical. In fact, some single dishes contain more calories than we should eat in an entire day. Eating in fast food restaurants is even worse. A diet of hamburgers, french fries, and shakes constitutes a fast lane to the emergency room. If you really want to help your heart, Get in the habit of cooking simple meals at home. Here are three easy tips that will make your food taste better than even the best restaurant. Choose the best fruit in season. Your local farmer's market is a great place to start. It will probably still cost less than that pie you were thinking of buying. Get in the habit of using fresh 
herbs. You can use them in egg white omelets or dust them on the fish you grill or bake. And for a light dessert, choose a square or two of dark chocolate that, that you and your spouse can enjoy. There are lots of ways to make your heart healthy, but there are also lots of ways to damage it. That's why I wrote Fix It, Dr. Crandall's 90-day program. In it, I'll tell you how to kickstart your metabolism every day, how to pick the best diet for you, how to stop hunger from sabotaging your diet, the seven superfoods for your heart. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thanks for watching this Heart Health Minute. Hi, this is Mike Reagan. You need to watch out because thousands of new Obamacare rules are currently being implemented, and few know what the law says or does. Listen to what Senator Max Baucus, one of the authors of the Obamacare law, recently said. I tell you, I just see a huge train wreck coming down, and I don't see any results yet. I just see a huge train wreck. He's right. So protect yourself from this train wreck. Get the number one bestseller, the Obamacare Survival Guide. Newsmax says it's the best guide to the new law. Join more than a half a million Americans who have their copy. Get the Obamacare Survival Guide at bookstores everywhere. Or get our special $4.95 offer and save $15 off the cover price by going now to Obamacare 911 everywhere. Or get our special $4.95 offer and save $15 off the cover .com. Magazine every month. Get off the sidelines and be a part of the show. Call Steve toll free at 1 877 Newsmax. That's 1 877 639 7629. Here is Steve Malsberg. All right, folks, welcome back. Steve Malsberg with you uh, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour, Chris Rada will join us, Senior Research Director for Military Religious Freedom Foundation. Now, doesn't that sound wonderful? The Military Religious Freedom Foundation. Freedom of religion. What could be better, right? What a wonderful sounding name. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, their group uh, has uh, been... Uh, trying to and looks like they will be successful to get the u.s air force academy so help me god um taken out of their honor code or uh, or or get it to be uh, optional in their honor code so uh, uh i can't wait to speak to uh to chris rada i don't understand why people like that just don't leave things alone um it's outrageous but uh, we'll we'll talk about it it's not surprising in the abomination you know the abomination you're living it Welcome to it. Glad you're aboard. Um, now, we're efforting uh, Rich Fowler, Democratic uh, strategist, and we're going to talk a little bit uh, about the, uh, the wonderful ACA, the Affordable Care Act. It's so wonderful. It's so affordable. It's so special. Thank you, Dr. Obama. I like to say thank you, Dr. Obama, whenever I can because, you know, you can't thank uh, somebody enough sometimes if uh, they've... Uh, <laughs> if they've done so much for you to make your life better, improve your health care, give you better insurance, you name it, um, thanking Dr. Obama just, just seems like the, uh, the thing to do. Just seems like the thing to do. So let's welcome in uh, Rich Fowler, Democratic strategist. Hey, Rich, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me on the show. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Um, so uh, your take on uh, this uh, this disaster, the, here's the latest, basically. Um, I mean, I could play uh, 10,000 sound bites of not only Obama saying uh, no one's going to make you change your insurance, no one's going to take it away from you, period. Not now, not later, not going to happen. Uh, he even said in 2010 that if you have a, a policy you like, it'll be grandfathered in, he said. Well, of course, now Jay Carney's saying, well, uh, what the president meant to say was nobody could take your insurance away except your insurance company. And why would they do that? Well, because it doesn't meet all the ridiculous requirements of Obamacare. So he kind of left that out, Obama, for three years. I guess it's what the meaning of the word, you know, take away is. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love that explanation of it. I don't think it's really that simple. 
Um, and to be honest, uh, you know, I think when you say take, when I think you think of the Obamacare regulations, if you're saying making sure that a woman gets a mammogram screening, no, 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 no. Let me explain, Rich. I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here through the baloney. What I'm saying is, uh, the president well, said, if you baloney. like your policy, no one's going to take it away from you. Not now. Not ever. Period. And now, because <laughs> because an individual male doesn't have maternity coverage, and because a senior citizen doesn't have uh, maternity coverage and birth control coverage in their current policy, they lose it. Now, how much so sense does like, that well, make, Rich? Well, let's talk. Well, let's talk about facts, and let's not let's not play games here, right? So let's think. Let's look at it this way first. Eighty percent of Americans already. Re- I'm no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not listening to Jay Carney again. I asked you a question. Why did the president answer, lie to answer, us for I'm, three years? I'm, I'm answering your question. If you allow me to answer the question, I will. No worries. Sure. Go All ahead. What I'm saying yeah. is, is that eighty percent of Americans already get health care coverage through their job, through Tricare, through Medicaid, or through Medicare. So we're talking about the five percent of Americans that are that are losing their health care coverage or that haven't changed in their health care coverage, of that 5%, 50% of them qualify for the tax subsidy. I don't give a and rat's behind. I don't care. I want to know why the president, okay, you're not answering now, the question, why did he lie for three years? Are you going to answer that question? The president never lied. Never the lied. Never he, lied so so, so what president he meant to said, say was 2.5% of you will lose it, but that's not what he said, was it? He said no one. Did he not, or you want no, me to play that for you? No, let's be very clear. Let's be very clear what the president said. He said, if you like your health care coverage, <laughs> yeah, if you like your health care coverage, yeah. and you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor and keep your health care coverage. For 80%, more than that, 82.5% of Americans, that is the case. Oh, so when he was talking to everybody, he really wasn't. He should have said well, 80%. Now, he just forgot. Oh, okay. So the millions of, the of people, of those, the millions of people of the, who are getting their notices, they kind of got left out because they don't really count because they're only 2%. See, and, but you know, but I, listen, I got to oh, tell you. Oh, I see you. now. I see. The constitutional okay. lawyer and scholar couldn't figure that out. I see. He didn't lie. He just left something out by accident. Was it by accident you know, he left it out? A, let's, well, let's have a real conversation. Uh, Rich, I, you, because, companies- Rich, you're embarrassing. You really are. You really are. No, I'm the not president embar- no, no, no. didn't what's say. Emba- what's the president what's didn't embarrass- say. What's, oh, okay. what's emba- wait, wait a minute. What's embarrassing is the fact that individuals, people in the Republican Party, will do everything. To uh, right, right. The Republican Party, right. right. Party get the exists. hostages, sure. gun ta- hostage takers, gun to the head. Come on, get it all in. Jihadists, go ahead. You guys will take away the ability for three million young people to get health care insurance. You know, Rich, 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 Rich. What do you tell the women who are who are going? What do you tell the women who have been featured in CBS? NBC, the families, the the uh, the uh, I had Ted Rawl, the cartoonist, liberal as, as they get, who said this is a f- disaster. His health insurance no, now is wrong. 300 a month. It's no. going to go to 600 a month. His deductible is going to double, and they're going to pay only 50 percent, not 80. I guess Obama forgot to tell us that too, right? Come on, no, bro, come me, on. would you give me a break? Wrong. There is- there are issues. There's definitely there's clearly issues with the website. Not the there website, my friend. Up. The policies, the costs, the premiums, the, the deductibles. There's issues, there's issues with. I don't, listen, there's issues with the rollout. There's no question about that. But with that being said, people are finally getting health care coverage. <laughs> we have spent years, there's loads of them, trying to fix the health care system. Right, so people, finally are finally getting, getting people are finally getting. How many people are getting health care coverage, Rich? Rich, how many people are getting health care coverage, Rich? Young, we can talk about 50 million people that now right, qualify right, for coverage. All right. Who didn't qualify before okay, because Rich. they the condition. Rich, I guess you, I, I'm sorry. I, enough, enough. Can we go by? Can we go? Yeah, I want to cut it off because I asked you a question. You still haven't answered it. I said, why did the president lie when he said no one, not 80% and 5% and half of the 5% and half, I said no one is what the president said. No one means no one. Like, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. He lied. He did. And he said he was sorry. This president doesn't have it in him to say he was sorry, and he lied. He lied over and over and over. Now I'm hearing, oh, well, you see, it, it is true for most of the people not what the president said, and not what we're seeing. Not what we're seeing at all. So, Rich, you know, take the talking points. He's bashed Republicans, blah, 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 blah. You want to be honest, you come back. Steve Malzberg Show. The Steve Malzberg.
If you need to lose weight and would like to get paid for it, that's right, I said get paid to lose weight. Just listen to the following announcement. The makers of GCE Green Coffee Bean Weight Loss are looking for real testimonials from real people and will pay you per pound to meet or exceed your weight loss goal. Until now, the secrets of Green Coffee's fat-burning power has been limited. But thanks to Dr. Oz, the secret is out. And now, this authentic Green Coffee Bean Fat Burner is available in easy-to-take tablets. There are no expensive meals to buy or strenuous workouts. Simply take one tablet before each meal and record your progress. Only the first 200 callers are guaranteed to be accepted into the program. So if you're serious about losing extra weight and want to earn extra cash for fitting into your skinny jeans again, call 800-383-9230 now. Call 800-383-9230. 800-383-9230. Space is limited, so hurry and secure your spot today. 800-383-9230. Some conditions apply. 800-383-9230. 800-383-9230. Heart disease is the biggest killer disease in America, and this doesn't surprise me. We are addicted to starches, sugars, fatty meats, and salt. People who live in countries with little heart disease eat very differently. One way some people stay heart healthy is by following what is known as the caveman or Stonehenge diet, so named because of its similarity to the way our prehistoric ancestors ate. People who follow this type of diet live off local fruits and root vegetables and get their protein mostly from fish and wild game they shoot themselves. Now, since most of us don't hunt or fish for all our protein, here are some simple tips on how you can start to eat like a caveman, modern day style. First, fill up on fruits and vegetables. Eat them first and you'll be less hungry. Feast on fish which is rich in nutrients, but not in calories. Choose fatty fish like mackerel, herring, sardines, and salmon, which are rich in heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Get out and go for a walk. Remember, our ancestors were hunters and gatherers, so they didn't spend their time sitting in front of a TV or computer all day. If you live more like a caveman or a cavewoman, your heart will love you for it. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thank you for watching this Heart Health Minute. Remember, it's never too late to prevent or reverse heart disease. Right now, I invite you to discover your own risk for heart disease or even a heart attack by taking my quick, free online quiz at www.simpleheartest.com. Do you have trouble remembering things you've known for years? Do you want to maintain your mental edge, support your memory, focus, and attention? After extensive research, Dr. Russell Blaylock discovered four essential nutrients that help sustain optimal brain function. Dr. Russell Blaylock then personally formulated Cresio, the dietary supplement containing these four brain boosters that promote brain cognitive health, improve learning and retention. Cresio supports brain circulation and provides antioxidant protection. And now you can receive a 30-day supply of Cresio. All you pay is a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit Cresio.com slash special. Act now and you'll also be given instant access to our downloadable special report, Nature's Brain Boosters, Essential Nutrients for Peak Mental Performance. Give your brain the healthy support it needs. Learn how you can receive your 30-day supply at Cresio.com slash special. That's C-R-E-S-C-E-O dot com slash special. Cresio.com slash special. 800-613-3159. Microphones hot. Microphones hot. Audio and video encoders firing ones and zeros. Internet stream. Um, is yeah, streaming. The most technology-advanced radio show is on the air. Here's the captain of this enterprise, Steve Malsberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the uh, Steve Malsberg Show. Um, we're uh, in the process of trying to hook up with Chris Rada, Senior Research Director for Military Religious Freedom Foundation. We're of trying to hook up with Chris Rada, Senior Research Director for Military Religious Freedom 
Foundation when officials at uh, the Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado campus, uh, when officials at uh, the Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado campus, uh, current cadets would be allowed to opt out of the oath, uh, the final phrase of the oath of their honor code in which they reaffirm uh, each, uh, each of their four years, of, in which they reaffirm uh, each, uh, each of their four years. Current oath reads, if I, uh, if I may read it to you. So in the spirit of respect, I'm sorry, uh, we will not lie, steal, or cheat, nor tolerate among us anyone who does. Furthermore, I resolve to do my duty and to live honorably, so help me God. Now, what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Well, because a group called the um, Military Religious Freedom Foundation objected, the Air Force, uh, U.S. Air Force Academy, they caved. They caved. Now, they're the only military academy that has God in their, in their, in their code, and they've now made it optional, but they caved. Why on earth would they cave? Well, according to um, Lieutenant um, General Michelle Johnson, the Academy's superintendent, here at the Academy, we work to build a culture of dignity and respect. And that respect includes the ability of our cadets, airmen, and civilian airmen to freely practice and exercise their religious preference or not. By extension... By extension, you know, when you when you when you were testifying in a court of law, you know, when you when you when you were testifying in a court of law, don't you say so? Help me, God. What if the president doesn't want to say it? What if the senator doesn't want to say it? Are we ready? Are we ready, guys, or we're we not ready? Okay, we're ready. All right, here we go. Uh, let's welcome in uh, Chris Rada, Senior Research Director for Military Religious Freedom Foundation. Hey, Chris, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me on. Well, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's good to have you. Okay, so tell me what uh, what your objection or your group's objection uh, was is to uh, to God uh, in the uh, in the oath at the Air Force Academy. Well, it's a violation of Article Six of the Constitution, the No Religious Test Clause to make cadets or anyone else in the military swear an oath to God when it violates their religious uh, principles. Well, who complained that it violated their religious principles? Besides, well, we get complaints you. about this uh, constantly, about the swearing of oaths. By, by from who? Who gives you from complaints? From service members. Service members. Service members, cadets. Um, it's one of the most common complaints we get. And people contacting to ask us if they have to say it or not. So you got people, how many, how many would you say, and, and you're talking about, now I know this is the only military uh, uh, um, uh, school, the, the only uh, uh, school uh, academy, should I say, military academy, where they have God in the, uh, in the code, in the oath. Uh, no, that's not true, actually. It's, it's all over the place. It's at West Point? It's, it's at the Naval Academy? It's, where, where, uh, there are va various different things that... that um, Acknowledge God, whether it's cadet codes or uh, well, I'm talking about the, the code. So, what other, which other cadet, which other uh, academies have the code with God in it? Oh, I, I would need to look that up specifically. Well, then how do you know I'm wrong? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know I'm wrong if you don't know? How do you know I'm wrong if you don't know? I'm sorry, at the Air Force Academy, it's an issue. How do you know? How do you know I'm wrong if you don't know? You said I'm wrong. It's not true. And then because I asked you, get, you said you'd have to look it up. we get emails constantly from people in the military. In the military. That doesn't mean they're at the academies. Okay, I said okay, okay. academies. This, this is not really an important point. The, the issue, let's, let's just talk about the academy then. The oath specifically at the academy. There are people, cadets at the academy, who it's against their religious principles. And not just atheists. Many Christians do not swear oaths to God because it violates, um, I believe it's Matthew uh, 5, 33 to 37. Uh, we are, this is not all about atheists. We get pegged as an atheist organization 
but 96% of our clients are actually Christians. 96% of your clients overall are Christians? Overall. And it, that's remained constant for six years. That and what, what, and what are we talking about? Ten people? Are we talking about a million people? No, a thousand we're, people? We're, we're talking, we've had, uh, I believe we're up to about 35,000. You have 35,000 clients. 35,000 service members, cadets, uh, um, veterans who have contacted Murph either individually or some of those are part of gr uh, group complaints where, say, 30 soldiers at a particular base will come to us as a group about something. But the total right now, I believe we just went over 35,000. In what time frame? How many years are we uh, talking about? I think about? about six years. How many? About six years. Six years, 35,000 people. 95% 95, 95 of them are Christians who don't want yeah. to say God. Right, well, no, no, they have a thing about uh, uh, swearing oaths that uh, Matthew 5, 33 to 37, where it says, do not, it flat out says, do not swear any oath to God, simply say yes or no. And this is why we have, or supposed to have in the oaths, the choice to swear or affirm. And in the original military oaths written by the founders in 1789, they did not include, so help me God, that wasn't added till 1862 for officers and 1962 for enlisted. So we're talking about, so, you know, they knew all about Article 6 of the Constitution. Well, specifically at the Air Force Academy, it was added in 1984 after a cheating scandal. Well, that, that's the, there's actually two different oath issues going on at the Air Force Academy right now. One is the, uh, the uh, honor oath at the... Academy's prep school, that's the one you're uh, talking about. Uh, we also have a, a current issue of an email was sent to cadets telling them that if they did not say the words, so help me God, at the end of their commissioning oath to be lieutenants, their commissioning oath would not be legal. They actually, and must was in capital letters in the email, and we contacted the Pentagon about that. And uh, somebody uh, from the Air Force Academy then sent another email out to the cadets, and it was kind of very non-committal, saying they can't make a decision yet. When I mean, there's this is such a clear-cut issue. Nobody in in this country can be told they have to swear an oath to God. Well, you and know, you know, when you go when you go into the military, you lose almost all your rights. No, 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 no. no. The, the, do you the, do the you not do you not lose all your rights? I mean, you could you. No, can, yeah, do you, you have freedom, you know, of, you, freedom you, of assembly? You know, could you write right. what you want? Yeah, could you assemble? Or, could you protest? Uh, could, could you do anything you want? Under certain conditions, there are there are restrictions for good order and discipline. Yes, some rights are curtailed somewhat as far as uh, religious activity, political activity, things in uniform, or whatever. But this this is an issue that that the that's not a, a you know any sort of factor in this particular issue. This particular issue, Article Six of the Constitution, nobody can be forced to swear an oath to God for any position with the government. It just that's well it's, to me when well, you when you when, when you're in the when you're in the obviously this was done and it's been done and 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 it, it hasn't been done against the Constitution. Or it wouldn't have been done. It's like this myth of separation. Wait, 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 let me finish. It's like the myth of. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? It's like the myth of separation of state, a church and state in the Constitution. It doesn't exist. It says the state shall establish no religion. And you would be the first, I'm sure, to, uh, to champion. Uh, you know, you, you're making it sound, and I'd love to see your list. Uh, any group could say could come to you and say we're a group, and we represent 10,000 soldiers, uh, and you would count it as 10,000 people you represent. I don't know. I, I'd love to see your your records in your books and and count up the 35,000 well, 95% of whom are Christian of the that I'd that like to the, see um, but that the aside AFA but that aside and Ron Cruz organization okay. say you're coming to them with complaints okay but, but that aside their clients anonymous and we keep our clients okay anonymous. sure well, that's easy well I got a million clients and I keep mine anonymous but the fact do, do you take at face value when those groups say they have X number of clients X number of people coming I, I, to them I, I, I'm not talking about other groups I'm talking about I'm no, talking no, about no, but, but, I mean you know apples to apples is yeah, well, when they come on, I'll talk. When they come on, I'll here. talk to them. You're on, and I'm talking to you about your okay. group. And the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, you make it sound like you're representing Christians, but certainly and not atheists. But I'm sure your group would also be in favor of taking away a cross on a mountain that honors uh, dead soldiers. If it violates or, 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 a military or, 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 or,
or taking a, or taking away any form of religious freedom no, if no, someone no, 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 somebody, no, no. someone disagrees no, we with it. We are not it. an anti-religion organization. Get that straight. We we actually just I'll give me an example. We just had a case where a Christian came to us complaining about an officer who had a bumper sticker on their car that was denigrating to Christians. We agreed with the Christian and got the atheist to remove their sticker because it was the atheist in that case who was violating military regulations by denigrating a religion. But how is anybody... Now, let me ask you a question. If the, if the commander-in-chief decides he doesn't want to be sworn in um, uh, uh, and say, uh, so help me God... Um, is, is, is that okay? Yeah, because the So Help Me God is not actually in the President's Oath in the Constitution. Okay. And, and Most presidents have the... added it by choice, and, and that's what we want here. We want the cadets to be able to add it by choice if they wish to, but not have it in the actual printed oath, which would be exactly the same as the President's Oath is now. How, how, do you, how, about if, how about if someone knows, for instance, now it's changed, unfortunately, but if someone know uh, that going into the U.S. Air Force Academy, they would have to say, so help me God, and they didn't like it, how about they didn't go in? How would that be? Why, why should they? I'm just, the uh, what do you mean, why should they? I'm saying if that's the rule, if that's how it's been done since 1984, so then, then why? That it then, doesn't matter. If that's how it's been done since 84, and you know that going in, then you expect to do it. If you don't want to do it, don't join that so, so organization. So you're, say, you're saying someone who objects to something that's, that's unconstitutional... You say, say it's well, unconstitutional. You, go you say it's Air unconstitutional. Because okay. they're doing something that's unconstitutional. You say it's unconstitutional. Like the, the person who in charge of uh, the academy uh, in announcing the change did not say they're complying with the Constitution or had been violating the Constitution. But the, we, are, we are saying that they are violating the Constitution. Right, well, you would say that a cross on a hill at, uh, uh, honoring troops who died, uh, if, I saw, if someone objected, you would take their case and say that's violating the Constitution. It depends, and we have actually disagreed with some other organizations and the things they've gone after. Yeah, because no. we didn't think they were violations. All right, I just think, you look at the military regulations, right. the Constitution, if something is a yeah, violation, I, I, I know. It's, it's just a violation, like, it's just like it's not, it's not. separation of church and state, which doesn't exist, but, but the left likes to run with that, and they do run with that. And if you, if you tell somebody there's no such thing as separation of church and state in the Constitution, they look at you like you got three heads. But, uh, separation of church and state is just a handy metaphor that's become popular. No, yes, well, I know. Yeah, it's become, it's become, it's become the it. mantra of the left and those who want to get rid of religion in this country. But look, I thank you for your time. No, you Chris Rada, no, I'm up against a heartbreak. Chris, got to go. Senior Research Director for Military Religious Freedom Foundation. Here on the Steve Malsberg Show, you want to weigh in? 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629 on the Steve Malsberg Show. The Steve Malsberg. If you're a man over 40, your prostate could be forcing you to urinate frequently, even disrupting your sleep multiple times each night. You're not alone. Over half of men over 40 experience age-related prostate concerns. Fortunately, prominent medical doctor David Brownstein believes that aging prostate concerns are not inevitable. That's why Dr. Brownstein developed Prostate Revive, an advanced dietary supplement containing a unique blend of 15 ingredients designed to promote optimal prostate health. So men, as part of this new radio promotion, you now have the opportunity to claim your own 30-day supply of Prostate Revive, containing Saul Palmetto, Beta Cytosterol, and numerous other prostate helpers. Just cover a $4.95 shipping and handling charge. Plus, if you act now, you'll also get a doctor's guide to a healthy prostate as a bonus gift. Please visit ProstateRevive.com radio for details on getting your 30-day supply of Prostate Revive and free report. That's ProstateRevive.com radio. Do something about those annoying age-related prostate concerns. Visit ProstateRevive.com com slash radio now while supplies last. Do you suffer from joint discomfort? Contrary to what the experts may say, achy joints do not have to be a normal part of aging. Holistic doctor David Brownstein challenged conventional thinking to focus on natural solutions for joint health. As a result, Dr. Brownstein has recently developed Limbex, the premium nutritional supplement specifically formulated to support healthy joints and connective tissue. It's a new joint breakthrough formula containing 11 hand-picked nutrients. Learn more at limbexjoint.com slash special and take the 30-day Healthy Joint Challenge. That's a 30-day supply of the Limbex Joint Supplement. All you pay is a $4.95 shipping fee. Act now and you'll also be given instant access to our downloadable special report, A Doctor's Guide to Happy Healthy Joints at Any Age. You can do something about 
joint discomfort and flexibility. Learn how you can try it for 30 days at limbexjoint.com slash special. That's L-I-M-B-E-X joint.com slash special. Limbexjoint.com slash special. Have you hit a brick wall with your weight loss? Does your weight management plan need an extra edge for success? If so, listen up. Metabio is the revolutionary weight loss breakthrough designed to help you reach your goal weight as part of your diet and exercise program. Metabio is the premium nutritional supplement power packed with five high quality ingredients. When used as part of a healthy lifestyle, each component is formulated to help you reach your goals and maintain your optimal weight and wellness. It supports healthy metabolism and promotes fat loss. Now, learn how you can try a 30-day supply of Metabio just cover a $4.95 shipping fee. Visit thematabio.com slash special. Act now and also receive instant access to our downloadable special report, a practical guide to healthy weight management. Try it now at thematabio.com slash special. That's the M-E-T-A-B-I-O dot com slash special. While supplies last, thematabio.com slash special. Obamacare, President Obama's massive health care law is taking effect this year. With over 15,000 pages of regulations, few even know what it means. Now, the Obamacare Survival Guide by Nick Tate gives you the shocking facts about this law. It's a step-by-step guide on how you can protect yourself. Already a New York Times bestseller, every American needs to get the Obamacare Survival Guide and find out about the new taxes, hidden fees, fines, Medicare changes, business rules, and why doctor shortages are likely. Donald Trump says the Obamacare Survival Guide is a must-read for anyone worried about getting good health care for themselves or their employees. So get the Obamacare Survival Guide. It's at bookstores. Or get our special offer at Obamacare311.com and you'll save $15. Go now to Obamacare311.com. That's Obamacare311.com. Hi, this is Mike Reagan. You need to watch out because thousands of new Obamacare rules are currently being implemented and few know what the law says or does. Listen to what Senator Max Baucus, one of the authors of the Obamacare law, recently said. I tell you, I just see a huge train wreck coming down, and I don't see any results yet. I just see a huge train wreck. He's right. So protect yourself from this train wreck. Get the number one bestseller, the Obamacare Survival Guide. Newsmax says it's the best guide to the new law. Join more than a half a million Americans who have their copy. Get the Obamacare Survival Guide at bookstores everywhere or get our special $4.95 offer and save $15 off the cover price by going now to Obamacare911.com. That's Obamacare911.com. That's Obamacare911.com. the sidelines and be a part of the show call steve toll free at 1-877-NEWSMAX that's 1-877-639-7629 here is steve malsberg all right folks we welcome you back always good to have a uh, spirited debate um there's a book called liars for jesus and let me read you a little bit of it uh here um it's, um, well, this was a, a show or a forum called Atheists Talk, uh, June 26, 2011, Minnesota Atheists, and a revision of history to modify the present is an old trick of the populace. It says the United States was not intended to be an officially Christian nation by the founders, but there is a movement uh, afoot to lie about our basic freedom. Uh, to disbelieve or believe and be full citizens. Uh, David Barton is the most prominent of these revisionists, quoting his, uh, quoting? Yeah, quote, uh, quote, is that what it says? I can't read it. His way through the past to create the impression that the uh, uh, atheists and secularists who crafted the U.S. Constitution and Republic really wanted to make sure that God smiled on our government and people. Uh, the liars for Jesus want us to believe that the government would be 
crippled and ineffective without a reliance on godly teaching and supplication. Chris Rada never intended to be a writer, it's a writer, it says here, but as an observer of such revisionism, she decided that she could not accept what the liars for Jesus were foisting on American public, uh, the American public, willing to accept their distortion. So she started researching and writing and uh, finding the source documents. The, uh, the uh, phony historians were so deliberately um, ma uh, mangling. She realized that she would need a three-volume book in order to dispel um, the notion that this is an officially Jesus-directed nation. So the woman we just had on, Chris Rhoda, apparently wrote Liars for Jesus, I think is the name of the book. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Liars for Jesus, the site for Rhoda's artic articles and the book. So um, if that's, I guess that's the name of the book, first volume of, yeah, Liars for Jesus. This was back in June 26th of 2011. The first volume of the three was available. So while this woman says she's representing Christians, and she might be, you know, to an extent or whatever. I don't know if there's 35,000 of them. I have no idea. But my point is, in my opinion, don't parade. See, that's, oh, you know, oh, no, these are, I'm representing Christians. These are Christians who believe in God. But she's the author of Liars for Jesus. She does not believe that uh, we were founded as a Judeo-Christian nation. She does not believe that the founders wanted us to be a Christian nation with Christian values and wanted God to shine upon us and all that, that she believes that they wanted us to be a secular uh, nation. Um, so that's that just know where, know her history and know where she's coming from. And thanks to Rich, our fine uh, producer, for uh, uh, giving me that. I really do appreciate it. All right, so... Uh, you know, <laughs> you know I, I keep forgetting that Barack Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize um, for doing nothing, for showing up. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for showing up as president. He, he didn't do anything yet. He just became president, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, nonetheless, listen to NBC. I believe this is Andrea Mitchell. Yeah, of course, Mrs. Alan Greenspan. Uh, listen to her uh, on MSNBC fretting, bemoaning the fact that Barack Obama was a rock star, baby. And now this NSA thing has it's really got him being looked upon in a different light overseas. Here's cut 24. When he was a candidate, Barack Obama was a rock star in Europe. That was then. This is now. As Europe reacts angrily to news that the U.S. spied on 35 leaders, how did the man who won the Nobel Peace Prize just months into his presidency become the subject of Europe's scorn? The White House can thank NSA leaker Edward Snowden. <laughs> oh, poor Barack Obama. Poor Barack. He was a rock star. And now he's not. Now he's just one of us. Okay. Uh, kudos to Andrea Pizer. And the New York Post for the article she wrote, which was all about Stephen Jimenez and the book of um, Matthew. Is that what? Yeah, that's what it's, that's what the book is called, I believe. Yeah, uh, the book of Matt: Hidden Truths About the Murder of Matthew Shepard. You recall we had Stephen Jimenez on this show about a month ago. Um, he is an openly gay journalist. Um, he investigated Matthew Shepard's death came up with a whole different scenario, and no one in the mainstream media, NBC, ABC, CBS, MSNBC, Washington Post, New York Times, touched his book or spoke to him because it ruined their whole, you know, their whole established, uh, if you believe Stephen Jimenez, fantasy of Matthew Shepard being killed because he was gay, that he walked into a bar, they... They thought they saw he was gay or thought he was gay or whatever, and they killed him for it. And that's not what happened, according to uh, Stephen Jimenez. So a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful story on Jimenez, on the book, um, on the uh, bias in the media relating to this um, by Andrea Pizer. So kudos, Andrea, and uh, to you and to uh, the New York Post. All right, folks, guess what? Uh, we've come to the end of the uh, lollipop, as they say. Steve Malsberg with you. We'll do it again tomorrow, God willing. Thanks for being with us. Big show today. We'll try to live up to it once again tomorrow. First with the news, the newsmakers, and the opinions 
uh, that uh, you may want to hear or may not want to hear. But we do it here every day on the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio.